How's the morning? It was, uh, it was fine. I actually, I'm just like trying to think like, oh yeah, I actually have mornings now. <laughs> like, getting up at 6.30, 7 o'clock here. Yeah, busy morning for me. Um, worked on the Graviton Lance video that went live, and then walked Brim, and then I had to clean our kitchen because it was basically a nightmare. Um, and then as I was exporting the stream from yesterday to go live on the Archive channel, it crashed literally two frames from the end of the video. It just gave me an error. And that export took about mm, an hour, 15 minutes. So didn't have time to redo that. So that was pretty cool. Um, so that's, that's just gonna have to go live tomorrow. Um, not enough space, huh? That is fair. Um, so, yeah, that was a little bit of a bummer, but otherwise got, got the things done that I need to get done. Done. They are done. Um, did my recording with Jez and Danielle yesterday for a sponsored thing, so I'm probably going to work on that tonight. After we're done streaming here, um, I already have another video ready to go live tomorrow. Um, and then I will be working on that sponsored video and then it's got to get approval. And then as soon as it gets approval, I can upload it. Um, probably not really going to make anything on Solstice. I, I think, I think I'm pretty like, I'm not going to make anything on Solstice. Where my boy Watts? You mean Nano? Talk about Nano Watts? He's good. I was just at his place uh, this weekend. Wonderful day, Guardian. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of like a solstice guide or anything Wonderful like that, day, I mean. Guardian. Dude, I got the whole thing done in like six hours going. You know, at a relatively snail's pace. <laughs> so, like, it, it really was not that bad. And I've heard it's, uh, it's, it's across, it's across your entire account. So, like, all the other characters, um, uh, have, have their gear ready to, to, to have glows and stuff, so. Six hours. Well, you're not supposed to do it in one day. You have to finish all the event challenges to get the title. You do because you need, like, a full armor set, a full glowing armor set. Because uh, then you need to, like, run a... a you know, dungeons and nightfalls and stuff to get the gilded. Um, you need to fully kindle your your stuff, which is what I am doing right now. Just we wish we could give the glowless armor. Yeah, I don't know why they don't allow for that. I think it might have to do something with like the fact that you're not actually getting different pieces of armor like the sunlit greaves are still the sunlit greaves it's not like sunlit greaves unascended and then sunlit greaves ascended like it's it's still the same armor piece and so like, like i don't know there might be something where it's like there's no duplicates or not like duplicates but like they're not labeled in a certain i don't effing know dude but also it's just like people like, i feel like we had the same issue last year and people really want the armor with with no glows. Oh. And uh and then they just didn't do anything <laughs> to address that. Um so here's hoping that they that they do something. Yeah. Upgrade multiple oh upgrade. Okay. I was like I made all of them glowing.
And this this gaffer tape not working as well as I want it to on my headset. The glows are so mid compared to the others. Well, let's take a look. How does it look? Okay. I mean, I see it on the helmet. Is it, like, not on on the other ones? I can't even tell if it's active or not. I mean, like... Oh, okay. I see it on the chest. Where is it on the arms? Like, don't get me wrong. I actually don't mind a more subtle glow. The bracer... I'm not even seeing it. Just under the bracer. Oh, I see. I see. Like, down here. I see it. Okay. I mean, I don't mind a more subtle glow, although this is really subtle. Um, because a lot of the other ones are just, like, so bombastic. And it's a big part of why I actually don't end up using the glowy armor is because it's just, it's just so much, which is probably why a lot of people want a no-glow armor set, but this is so subtle. <laughs> like, it's... I mean, you barely even tell it's it's kind of happening, um, but that might actually make me use the armor in fashion because it's not as this giant glowing thing. It's kind of the point of Solstice Armor, though. Fair. Wish there was, like, a slider that you could... Uh, you could do speak with Ava Um, boost it again. Speak with Ava again. About to build my first PC here doing research on everything. Do you recommend any headsets, keyboards, mouses? Um, well, as a matter of fact, uh, I do recommend certain headsets, keyboards, and, and mouses, mice. Um... I use Logitech mouse, keyboard. Well, I don't use the keyboard right now, but I'm sponsored by Logitech for the keyboards. And I have used a Logitech keyboard for multiple years in the past, really liked it. And then headset, I have my Astros. I've literally only used Astros my entire career. I use A50s, they're great. I love having a wireless headset as opposed to a wired headset. Um, and I have discount codes for everything. So if you're interested, Exclamation point, uh, Logitech. Let's make sure those links are actually working. Ah, uh, there is a comma in that command. Let's fix that. All right, now let's try it. Oh, that's better. That is better. And then Astro, I believe, is uh, astro.family slash Datto. I don't know if they've been integrated into Logitech's uh, website yet. Um, but yeah, I'm par I'm keep in mind that I'm I am partnered with them. So yeah, wired headsets shouldn't even exist. Tbh. I mean, I get the appeal, but I just for me, I wander around my house so much with my headset and uh i don't know where this blinking emote is and so i just like to be able to listen to stuff uh, while i'm around the house without having like every single time take it off take it on put it on duh, 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 duh. scared with building this pc well, see, here's the thing as well, is that I'm also partnered with a PC building company, if you're that nervous. 
That being said, I totally get wanting to build your own PC. And I do actually really recommend building your own PC when you are actually a little bit less experienced because then you get to learn what each of the components of the PC actually do and how they're arranged and how to set it up. And you can actually like maybe actually troubleshoot on your own, like what some of the problems are. Like I built my first computer, oh my God, 2012. And it gave me a much greater like appreciation and understanding for like how a computer even works on just like a hardware level. Um, so it is a, uh, it is a def definitely a good thing to do at least one time. But if you get too nervous about it, evolvepcs.gg slash datto, get a datto custom PC, all good. And that's enough shilling for now. Um, we are going to hop into the dungeon, actually, because I still need a piece of armor in order to get the title. So we're going to do that until... Uh, until Rob is ready for us in about an uh, hour and a half from now. And I'm just going to throw on my solo dungeon setup and just bonk the hell out of everything while we do this. Um, trying to remember what my loadout usually is. I'm sure this is fine. And we're going to hop into the, uh, the dungeon. What kind of coaching we're going to be doing? Um, so I think we might start with a, um, we might start with a law sector. We might start there, but the ultimate goal for today is to navigate Rob through a shattered throne solo. Um, and if he is interested enough, I would love to, you know, kind of see the journey same, same with Pure Chill. I, I really want to revisit with Pure Chill. Kind of see the journey of, like, basically starting from nothing in terms of, like, solo experience. And, uh, and like, trying to go as far as he can. But that's only if he, if he wants to. You know, we got to start... Uh, we gotta start. Gotta start easy, you know. Can't get to, can't get too crazy too quick. Shadow Throne still the very very best intro dungeon to go do. Uh, ignite hope for your Neptune activities for Solstice. What I highly recommend is to do one Law Sector on Neptune, and then run Hypernet Current. Just through the hypernet current playlist right on Neptune right here, you just run this three times. That's the best best you're gonna do. That's a portfolio looking today. Let's see. Wonderful day, Guardian. Let's see. Did we land yet? Oh, I'm gonna cutscene. Um, not bad, not bad. Looks like I should have bought that Apple 200C, uh, November, November 21. I was thinking about it a couple days ago. It's too much of a gamba. Not a gambler. Not a gambler. But oh, that good go. That's, I'm very glad you brought up my um, my portfolio, uh, chat. I just want everybody to know that I will be making a contribution to my retirement account uh, very very soon. Is this super loud or what? Um, I am going to be making a uh, a contribution to my retirement account very very soon. Um, so please get your puts ready on literally everything just get them ready to go uh spy uh you know vu maybe a little xlk um whatever you got going on 
I'm just letting you guys know right now, because we've been we've been riding the roller coaster up, 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 up. Stock market's been going crazy. And I am about to make a contribution, which does mean that the market will be crashing sometime within the next week or so. I see a big leg down as people take profits. Um, so just, again, get your puts ready. Get ready to, uh, you know, buy the dip. Because uh, me purchasing will trigger some sort of uh, market situation where everything goes down uh, the moment I buy something. So just want to give everybody a heads up that that is happening. So yeah, just prepare your uh, prepare your portfolios and all that. Is Danielle gonna be streaming this week? Danielle is currently in her first week of. Uh, stunt school and she only has like three or four days off in the next month so the amount of streams that she will be doing for the next month are probably quite limited just letting you know also yeah not real financial advice entertainment purposes only How much does Twitch match my contributions? Settle. I just need to be, I need to be better about like actually investing like monthly or every other month or something like that. Cause I just do it in like really big chunks and like that's not really a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. You gotta do it in smaller bits. Can't just be dumping once a year. What's the thing? Pizza. Okay. Yeah, got a DCA a little bit better, you know? Exactly, it's Downy Piggy, you got it. Vex head. Look, any, anytime I called it Vex head, everybody had called it pizza. Now I call it pizza. Everyone's like, oh, it's Vex head. I'm going to call it whatever I want. I'm going to call it upside down triangle. I'll call it something dumb. Do I have a finance guy? Uh, no. Danielle keeps yelling at me to like. Cause I think her mom uh, has like a, a good finance person and I just keep not contacting him. <laughs> I have like an automated uh, portfolio, like a, like a micromanaged portfolio um, through TD Ameritrade, but TD Ameritrade is getting bought by or they have, they were already purchased by like Schwab or whatever. And they don't have that automated service anymore. To like automatically invest your money. But I've looked at like what they do to, to like automatically invest in your portfolio. And uh, turns out if you want a high risk portfolio, you just invest most of your funds into just the, a general S&P 500 fund. That's their idea of super high risk. Is like put put your a lot of your money into the S and P five hundred. You know, one of the more reliable things in the st in the stock market. I'm like, oh, okay, this is very very thrilling. So I was just like, I can do this myself. I don't need to pay you guys money to put money into 
the S and P five hundred for me. Talk about risky. Got to diversify your bonds. Like you don't get you don't get bonds until until you're you're eighty. All right. I saw how much my my managed account was investing into bonds. I was like bonds. Bonds, dude. Are you crazy? What am I? Seventy right now? Bonds. Get the hell out of here with bonds. What's risky in my current portfolio? 100% in one stock. That is pretty risky. Fortunately, it's a pretty good company. One that's not going away anytime soon, so. And one that has been just indiscriminately going straight up. You need to diversify your portfolio. That's what you need to do. Your bonds. I mean, I guess you can get like different kinds of government bonds or something like that, but I don't know what this was. I'm dumb. Turret. Imagine I just get the piece that I need right here. Gloves. Did I need gloves? I don't remember. Let's see. Nope, didn't need them. Let's just clear some space here. Uh, you. Any word on next apparel drop? Uh, the I I have ideas for the designs and like the inspiration. I just need to I need to set up a meeting with uh, with Dot Exe to kind of get the ball rolling. But Gobi, to actually answer your question, how we doing today? What are we up? Uh, well, I just made a I just made like a contribution, so like a a bunch of it's cash. But total positions value were up. 0.8% today. Pretty good day. Love that. Love that. Oh, we're fine. What arm piece do I need? I... Mm, chest? I don't know. 0.8%. Hey, 0.8%? That's pretty good. That's a good day. Although it's heavily, heavily bolstered, I think, by T. Yeah, T had a big day. T had a big day today. They've been getting crushed. People are like, oh, time for a value play. Glad I bought more shares when they tanked. Blue Westlow, 68 months. Hope you had a good vacation, guys. Did you know I have a massive dumper? I trust me, they know. Every time I stand up, people are like, "Booba." You're up 0.8 percent today as well. Is that because Apple's up 0.8 percent today? <laughs> <laughs> what are they up today? Do I do day trading or what? No. There was a very sm small window of time where I did a little bit of options trading. Uh, I eventually broke even on the entire experience. I'm talking like maybe I was up or down 5%. Uh, and that was it. 
And I was like, I, I'm too much of a bitch to do this. <laughs> and even then, what I was doing was like maybe 2% of my total portfolio. They're up 0.8%. Okay. So, I don't know. Options. Options are scary. It's li just pure gambling. It's scary. Wonderful day, Guardian. 500k in options. I think the biggest play that I ever did for like options contracts was like I'm trying to think. I don't know. $400. <laughs> I'm way too much of a bitch. Like, completely unironically, I don't know how some of the people on Wall Street bets do what they do. And I'm actually in a decent financial position. Some of these other people are just 100% life savings. Just, yeah, F it, dude. And they either walk away with 3 million or they just never have money ever again. I was just like, how, how do people do that? How do people do that? It's so scary. Pretty sure it's just called having a problem. Yeah. It's so crazy, man. It's so crazy. The riskiest thing that I do is like buy individual stocks. And even then, it's like nothing scary. Like, oh, man, crazy purchase buying Microsoft. Oh, really taking a gamble on Apple there. Whoa, Visa. Easy there, Jordan Belfort. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need a chess piece? Nope. Wasn't chess piece. Might be boots. I don't know. What the? But if there's one thing that I can say, chat, is that you should try to put some money away for retirement. Do a little DCA dollar cost averaging. Doesn't have to be crazy. You put some money in Spy, some some money in Vu, VOO, once a month, little chunk of change. It'll do you good. Percentage, certain percentage of how much you make. That's what I try to do. My goal is die before I have to retire. Well, that doesn't mean you can't still put a little money away. You know, a little rainy day fund. I think I'm bringing up a lot of this up because a, a video came up in my recommended um, by this dude named uh, uh, Caleb Hammer, I believe his name is. And from what I can tell, his channel mainly consists of this one thing that he does called financial audit, where he brings in people who are struggling with their finances and just rips them a new b-hole about their finances. And I was like, damn. People are out here just willy-nilly not taking care of themselves.
And a lot of people are just like, yeah, I know it's dumb, but I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> I'm just like, why did you? Oh, I'm dead. Why did you agree? That was a giga jump. Oh, I'm not going to make it anyway. Imagine a world. Oh my God. If I had one more tick. If I had one more tick. Yeah, like people buying like crazy exorbitant purchases that he gives people grief for. I mean, the I've only watched a couple. So for a lot of people, it's it's spending crazy amounts of money on like takeout food and fast food. That's what I've really noticed. Like going out to eat like almost every day. Uh, DoorDash, just like all, just little extraneous purchases or buying things when like they know they shouldn't be buying things. I think one dude had like eight credit cards maxed out and he would only buy something or he would only pay off a chunk of the credit card enough so that he was under the credit limit so he could buy something else. Now, granted, all the cards were like super low credit rating or credit like amount because no one would give him a high like like limit because he had so many other credit cards at a maximum limit. So it's like one card is like $300 limit. Another card is like $500 limit, like really low. It's not like, you know, this dude has $5,000 and $10,000 and $7,000. It's just like, nope, 300, 500. But even still like that gets out of control. So. But I just, I find it just entertaining how just like brutal he can be with them. But he's trying to be like, you know, he's trying to really like lock in how serious it is to be in, in that level of debt. I think the second biggest thing is like people buying new cars or something like that. That's just, you know, having like crazy car payments. That's a great way to F up your, uh your financial situation. We just paid off two cars and our credit score tanked. Yeah, isn't that a bitch? How does that make sense? Immediately paying off your credit card and being responsible makes your credit score go lower. So stupid. <laughs> How do you bring up financial conver conversations with Danielle or do you not really talk about money? No, I mean, anytime we need to buy something, we're just like, you know, I kind of monitor how much we spend on certain things. Um, You know, if we have spent a lot or like I just made like a tax payment, I have to be like, hey, don't buy anything too crazy right now because we just spent a lot of money. Dude, this past April, just absolutely decimated by by IRS stuff. And I was like, hey, guess what? No more big spending at all for the next little while. Oh, let me switch to uh, tractor here. Checking, checking, checking. How long did I have to save up for my Japan trip? Not really that much because for basically the first, I would say five to six years of me doing YouTube stuff, I did not spend any money. Because I had nothing to spend it on. So I just paid off everything that I needed to pay off and then it, it, it all just sat. And like, I do regret not investing a little bit smarter 
in those times because I could have been way, 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 way better off. But I think also not spending too frivolously on anything also is like not the worst thing. So I haven't really had to worry too much about that because I was smart when I first started. And that put me in a good position versus just like spending, spending like crazy, like the moment a paycheck rolled in. My dad tends to preach like financial responsibility a lot. And like my uncle works uh, with like the stock market and all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was ingrained in me quite early. Like, be responsible. I was like, all right, that's fair. I don't know if that was the last one. Looks like it wasn't. Cool, just got suppressed. This guy's just flabbergasted. It's like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Sacrificing myself. Oh my God, so close. Damn, if, I, if my super didn't get suppressed, I think we would have had it. Someone says something about AMC earlier. I don't know, is that like one of the meme stocks right now? I forget what, what the other meme stocks are. So I've just been, I've been on a, a finance finance binge lately especially with like the the stock market actually recovering because like last year i don't know if you're if you're a stock person you probably know last year was a bit brutal but this year it's like gotten a lot better how do i feel like i don't have the right things on like where's my Where's my uh, Roaring Flames? I mean, it's there. I just wasn't getting the... Wasn't getting the... Uh, the buff. Oh, that was neat. Well, thanks, subs. <laughs> Wonderful day, Guardian. Well, at least the checkpoint's right there. Let's thank subs. <coughs> Potion seller, 18 months. Raskus with the six months. Uh, Dario with the three months. Thank you all very, very much. Guy who hates toast with a full year subbing. Thank you. Limp jellyfish with five. Love the golf vid. Also, you're sick AF. Appreciate that. Thanks very much. Yeah, I like making the golf videos. Dark star with 20 gifted subs. All right. Wonderful day, Guardian. 20 gifted from Darkstar. If you just got a sub from Darkstar, everybody's in here, be sure to thank, as they have just gifted 20 subs. Why? <coughs> 
Financial talk got a man feeling generous. Guess so. Hitting shots like crazy. How does he do it? One. Right through the legs. What the guardian down is happening? Is this an intentional wipe? I feel like they would have said something if it was. Alright, how many of these things we have lit? Also, what's up, Meg? I saw you. We need that one. We need... Okay, we need two. This effing chain lightning. All right, get ready. All right, making sure I'm not going to get clobbered here. Get to this wall. Wow, that wall is resilient. Not that much more damage, not worth. Where's my hammer? Damn. I posted cringe on that one, that was my bad. I played it too safe with my super. Drop my hammer again. Where did it, where did I drop it? I don't even know where it could have gone. I'm just going to scoop these orbs and make sure we don't guitar ourselves again. <laughs> We are good. That's three. There we go. That's how we do it. No, oh, my hammer. Okay, let's see. Is guitar actually caused by orbs? I'm pretty sure, damn. I'm pretty sure it's caused by like too many things on the ground. Disruption break, incandesce. No, thank you. Switch back to that. Sploosh. <laughs> yeah, Synchro, no uh, no worries, no worries. Alright, let's thank some more subs here while we're uh while we're moving. Papa Crip with the 47. Thank you very much. 47 months, 46 
from Wink Wink Finger Gun. Sometimes you just gotta... Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Had the cough for a while now. I know. It sucks. It's just like, I go so long without it, and then something will just, like, cause me to cough, and it's like, cool, now I'm gonna cough for the next, like, three hours. And no meme, it started... Again, I like I told this yesterday, but it started when I was in Paris because there's just so much cigarette smoke that I just started like hacking up a lung and it hasn't really gone away since. And that's when I learned that I'm a little bitch boy. But what can you do? <laughs> All right. What can you do? <laughs> Seen you use a tractor cannon a lot recently. Was there a buff in Lightfall that I wasn't aware of? Uh, no. I mean, Divinity got nerfed, but that was quite a while ago. Um, I don't really use tractor that often, but I, I mean, there are just certain things where, um, you know, for example, Bonk Titan can make up its DPS by just throwing a hammer constantly. So if you have like other ways of doing decent damage while being tractor cannon person, it's a smart idea to go tractor cannon. Um, I'm gonna cring my effing pants. We're gonna do that. Let's do double solar. Drop that, and I'm gonna wait for them to uh, to get it going. Uh, Red Devil, 68 months. Thank you very much, Red Devil. We got Rat Tongue with 18, K Tech with 15. Oh, levies, true. Um, okay, we gotta switch this to Void, which is fine. Um, do, 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 do. Karkland with 14. Any other teenage subs here? We got uh, Ruby with 17. Thank you very, very much for the teenage subs there. What am I wearing? Look, the, the fashion didn't save. Let's not talk about it, okay? Wonderful day, Guardian. The fashion didn't save. I only wear this build when I'm in here. What do we got? Okay. Are you trying to spin move out of that? Come on, man. Oh, this is just regular. I am doing runs because I still need armor pieces on my characters. Just getting rid of these knights. As so they are going to be annoying.
Take that heavy brick. Oh. Okay, you're in there. PG's over there. I'm going here. Cool. Yeah, I need one more armor piece so that way I can get the title because I've done everything else. I'm just missing armor pieces. This is very cool. This is three dot. Three dot, three dot, three dot, three dot, three dot, three dot. Limp jellyfish, thousand bits. Got my first solo flawless dungeon in Ghost of the Deep with your help from streams and bits. Thanks for the awesome content. Love that. Wait, that was your first solo flawless ever? Is, is ghosts? That's a pretty intense first one to go do. Wait, where's the deep side? This is your first one ever? I mean, it's pretty intense. Look at these shots, amazing. She's right on top of us. Liter okay. It's like literally where. that one. All right, halfway. I need to do a little. Little double spesh for a moment here. Do I run unflinching on this encounter? No, it's very rare that I run unflinching in anything other than PVP. Unless I, like, really know that something's going to be a massive problem. Oh, you're Vorlogged. Okay. Um, otherwise, no. I do not run on flinching. Well, I can't help with those. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Levy breath good compared to linear fusions. Um, I don't know, or I don't remember rather, what exactly is like the top tier at the moment. I haven't done really any sort of a uh, like DPS comparison, what's better, but also I haven't really been, there hasn't really been a need for it. So, I think the main problem for a lot of people is just like getting the Leviathan's Breath Catalyst is like giga annoying. Saying. Oh, 
Oh, you're not finishable? Right. Pizza. Beck said ice cream cone. All of them. Ever do Master for the Dungeon? Yeah, I did it off stream uh, over the weekend. Right there or don't that right here is fine too just don't move too much I said don't move too much god damn it I just went to go crush Shade's ghost. I started mashing finisher. Ah. Still no armor. Well-rounded incandescent. Blech. Yeah, what do I actually need? I need boots. Yeah, I need boots. Yeah, you can farm the boss, but we just have to run it back. And I was hoping for the one armor piece that I needed. Because all of my characters technically need, uh, like, armor pieces still. DPS was lacking. Why do I keep multiple class items with artifice and loadouts? Um... Literally no reason. I pretty much use the same class item for everything. But I like to have like one extra just in case I need to do some sort of quick hot swap. Um, but you don't. You don't need I literally just haven't bothered to get rid of them. That's it. Uh Moist Muffin69420. Scython. Uh J Delu. Joe Jangles, all brand new subs. Thanks very much for subbing. Thanks for dropping some primes here. Is it worth keeping raid armor class items for mods? See, I used to do that. And then I was like, yeah, but when am I ever putting those on? You know what I mean? Like, is it a smart idea? Sure. You know, you have, you're, you're going to run it like a master raid every now and then, but also, um, How often are you doing a master raid? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, hang on. Give me one sec. Whoop. Okay. I'm finished thanking subs first, and then uh, we'll run it back. <laughs> Figuring out our TwitchCon uh, Vegas plans right now. Um. Hey, Krampus Grim. That's uh. That's very nice of you. <laughs> That's very, very nice of you to say. I appreciate that. Isn't coaching in 40 minutes? What, you don't think we can do a dungeon in 40 minutes?
Um, Garden of Salvation, Enhanced Relay Defender is still the most useful Raymon. I would give you that, but I'd also say that in order to really maximize that, you need to be doing a one-break strat, and you need to have that mod on every single armor piece, and no one has kept a full set of Garden Armor. Um, I feel like most people are doing two-break. So, like, I agree, but also nobody's doing that. Uh, McGeek, four months. The I had to get turned into cheese, what type of cheese and what form? Um, <coughs> definitely melted. 100% melted. I don't know, I'm kind of boring. Just whatever's, like, like mozzarella, something real stringy. Something real damn stringy, you know what I mean? Bruce Petter, 30. Uh, Paladin, 31. Kezadia, 39. Thank you all very much for the 30s. Kezadia, congrats on the short day on, uh, on work there. Uh, Thickish Wheel, 43. Months of subbing. Big 40 coming in. Dark Star with 22 on top of the 20 gifted that you did earlier. Very generous of you, Dark Star. Thank you very, very much for doing that. Very, very generous. Uh, Autumn Leafy on with the 76. Big, big resub. We also have uh, Hodge with the 86 months of subbing. Big subs. We have Cyreg making it a nine year sub. We've had uh, a couple, we had a couple yesterday. Adding one more today. Tier three, 108 months. 108. Third, I believe that's the third one. I think there's only, I want to say there's only like five or six people who are nine year subs in here. So thank you very, very much for 108 months. Can I change the Warlock chess piece? No. I like it. Um, Papinator, full year of subbing, welcome back. Mr. Pineapple, seven months, thanks for re-upping. Glotrera, uh, two months of subbing, thank you for re-upping your sub, thank you very, very much. Um, Shroppy Llama with 29, about two and a half years there. Uh, we got Baron Von Shotgun hitting the 50, big milestone, 50. Solanox, 57, almost at five years. Uh, Ace of Cade with the five months. We got Gorzy with 14. Welcome back, both of you. And we got a couple gifted. We got Gildo and Latex both gifting some subs. Very, very nice of you. Thank you very, very much for doing that. Thank you. Allie Groom with the 50K. I think you, did you ask that twice? Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you, you don't have, you don't have to ask it multiple times. I, I'll get to it. It might take me a little bit though. Um, would you be interested in giving some feedback on some changes to Destiny's HUD that I made for my graphic design portfolio? Like changing the status effects area and how limited it currently is. Um, I guess? I don't know. Uh, it's a little outside the bounds of uh, ask me any question. Um... If you have it in an easy to look at spot, sure. Wonderful day, Guardian. I'm just gonna send us in while we wait for PG. Uh yeah, I don't know. If you just have like some some imager links or something, you could throw at me in Discord or, or something, or on Twitter. Yeah, I don't have a fax machine. Sorry, you're gonna uh... <coughs> you're gonna struggle with that. Uh, Vicky, ninety three months. Hey, bud. Are you doing um? 
Are you doing Vegas? Are you doing TwitchCon as well as GCX? No plans, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, the tickets just went on sale. Danielle and I are trying to figure out if we want to go to the, the TwitchCon party for like an extra hundred bucks or whatever it is. I don't know. I, I feel like every time I go to the TwitchCon party, it's just like I'm there for like 30 minutes and it's just so dicking loud. And yeah, I don't know. I'd rather just like do something else. <laughs> Or I'd, I'd rather blow that 100 bucks on, like, blackjack if I'm going to be there. <laughs> I just never, uh... Like, the partner party is usually a lot more chill. And that's it's also free. <laughs> so that helps. But, yeah, the, the TwitchCon party, I don't know. Forgot that you kind of need to look at the goop on the ground. You can't just run in a random direction. That's my bad. Um, but yeah, like extra hundred bucks and there's no partner discount. Tier three from Crazy Mish. 66 months as well. Can I get some coaching on what to eat for lunch? Depends on your budget. Pack your own lunch? Are you at home? Are you at work? Are you with coworkers? A lot of factors. A lot of factors. I've been on a ramen binge lately. I've been really into wanting ramen. I probably had more ramen than any other food when I was in Europe. Which is weird. But I I, I was on I was on my foreign foreign food deal. Where I like to try foods not native to a country in that country. Let's do that. Zen Triard, literally don't even know what that means. Glissando. Is Fixed Odds a decent alternative for commemoration? Um. I mean, if you have like a, if you have a crafted fixed odds crafted, I mean, fixed odds is a great weapon, but I, I would use it mainly for like when I'm on solar specifically, whereas commemoration is just kind of like good with everything. Does that mean you go to South Korea to try their tacos? 100% I would. I just, I love the idea of trying, like, dude, you tell me, like, yo, we're going to a Mexican place in South Korea. I'm like, I'm down. Let's do it, man. Although Korea, I feel like all I'd want to do is, like, Danielle and I watch these... <laughs> these food videos by like random the, the, the accounts always named su something super random like yummy boy or yummy yummy or some crap like that and they're always in like Korea making some weird ass sh and every time you're just like damn I want that but it's also it almost feels like a caricature of what they think Americans eat sometimes they'll like they'll start making something and I'll be like oh yeah that looks good and then they just do something like real weird and I'm just like is this what like Korean people think of Americans or, or are they just like in their own are they just like in the next dimension I just don't even know
Are they just like Giga Brain? They like make donuts and stuff, and they're like, you know, they'll be like, oh, chocolate frosting on the donuts, and then like, oh, they'll start putting like little, you know, Oreo or something like, just something like that, some basic, and then just something out of no like they'll start putting gravy on it. I'm like, what is happening? Not gravy, but like that's the that's the vibe of it. It's like they just they just like take it one step too far. You know, it's like it looks good, it looks good, it looks good, and then just and you're just like, okay. You, why are you still going? But man, does it make you hungry anyway. Yeah, exa exactly, Saki. The, like a hot dog just shows up out of nowhere. The entire thing will be like engulfed in cheese. It's like, you didn't need to do that. There's already cheese on it. I don't know. But if you've seen the videos, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's what I do in Korea. Sly guy, 81 months. It's been a long time since I played D2. Should I wait for the next sale or hop in now? I would wait for a sale, yeah. I think you just missed one, so you might have to wait for a little bit. But I know the last time, the last sale, you could get like the annual pass for like, I don't know, half off or something like that. Something crazy. Like, that's, you know, that's a good deal. On sale on console right now. Okay. Well, if you, I don't know what you play on, but console, hey. But yeah, I would definitely wait for a sale, 100%. That pretty much goes without saying for like pretty much any Destiny content uh, that's already been released. It's just like definitely wait for a sale. But it also depends on how long it's been. You know, some some people come in here and they're like, dude, I haven't played in so long. I'm like, how long has it been? They're like, season 19. Yeah, you must be famished. So. <laughs> All good, Alligator. Where did you where did you send it on Twitter? I hope you did not send it to my business email because I don't see that. Also, that should go without saying. Twi okay, good, Twitter. Yeah, that should go without saying. I've had I've had quite a lot of like people email my, my business Twitter or my business email. And uh, spoilers, I don't I don't see any of that. That goes directly to my agent. And if it's not a business offer, she goes, delete. And I never hear about it. So please don't email my my business email. <laughs> ETA till coaching, uh, about 25, 30 minutes. We got division. We got it. Those are orbs. We are coaching Robbie V today. Robbie has like the reason I wanted to go with Rob, other than the fact that he agreed to it, was like I feel like he's got good like raw gamer skills, and I want to see how that can translate to like a solo dungeon experience. Robes, damn it. Oh, no wonder my head's been hurting so much. This thing came unlatched. 
It's like, why does it feel like my headset is digging into my head? It's because it was digging into my head. Um, like he's got he's got like good shooter like instincts and like good gamer skills, but I don't think he, he's like never really been put to the test. I feel like in this way, and also just like look, we're we're bored. It's content. Should be fun, right? Just some some different, you know. If we do email you, we should come prepared with a business plan. Yes. You should come prepared with, we would like to pay you this much money to put our thing on your channel. And even then, there's only a small chance that I will say yes. So, uh, we're gonna be coaching Rob mainly on Shattered Throne. Um, and that's mostly because Rob does not really have a wide range of exotics. And uh, so I do kind of want to see his arsenal first before I throw him into the deep end. Because, like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have the Lament. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have Legend of Acrius. And, like, these are really... I mean, Legend of Acrius is a very expensive item. The Lament, I mean, that's probably not that hard to get. Um, but, like, some of, the, some of them are, like, really easy to go get. And he should go get them. But... A lot of the other ones are are not. So I think also it's going to be a lesson in getting creative with the items that you do actually have. Now, Shattered Throne, I mean, you can do with, with basically anything. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, 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 an interesting lesson in, in uh, not having like a full kit available to you. His armor is fantastic. His weapons are not really. We're just going for a solo completion, and I think if he can handle it, like if he does does it pretty quickly, we might try for a solo flawless. Just depends. Just lost all the mats in my postmaster overflowing after a couple of activities. That is a big pog. Also, I've been there. Does he have Cataclysmic? I would be surprised if he did. We definitely need to take inventory of just like, what are the best things that you have? Because, you know, solo dungeon is is partly a demonstration of skill, yes, but you, it's an end game achievement and you need to have a decent amount of gear in order to be able to tackle it, you know? Only the, the gamest of the gamers are able to throw on whatever random garbage they have and, and get a completion. So. Yeah, I would be surprised if Rob has Leviathan's Breath. Much less the Catalyst. Vault cleaning is not uh, not intended here. We're pretty focused on gameplay. But if he wants to do it, I'll do it. I coach people on how to not be hoarders. I've done everything I can do on that front. It's up to y'all now to do that. I'm gonna have to do... Uh, I'm gonna act like this, uh, like like Caleb Hammer does financial audit. I'm gonna do vault audit. <laughs> did DMG get back to you about the vault cleaning? Yeah, he did. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. I would say don't expect one in the near future. He's kind of like uh, he's got a lot going on, especially with his new gig. Um, so hopefully, sometime in in the near future, we can make it happen, but uh, at this moment in time, it is is not uh, not in the cards, sadly. But good for him, though, dude. I don't know if that's like a giga upgrade for him, or like promotion for him, or what, but. I feel like if your title has the word global in it, it's probably a big deal. <laughs> you 
I think you should be able to store Ascendant Shards and Prisms in the vault. It'd probably be okay, but also I feel like if you're the kind of person who has overflow of these materials that you want to put them into the vault, you probably don't struggle in getting those materials in the first place, and therefore they're really not that big of a deal. I mean... Do it in exchange for a riot gun, buddy. I don't want to bug people about it. Nano tells me about that all the time. It's like, gun buddy, gun buddy, gun buddy. That'd drive me up a wall, too. Cosmic. Cosmic social lead. Gun buddy. It's like a little keychain you put on a gun, on a Valorant gun. You know, just in, it's like, it's like the ghost projection of Valorant. Ooh, I wasn't them, I wasn't expecting them to be so accurate. We're alive. Riot right now is better than Bungie because he's a community manager. I'm not sure I understand the question. I don't know what his final title was at Bungie. Uh, Mr. Genovation. Nine months. Oh, I'm not going to make this. I have to have my jump. Oops. Uh, Shake and Bake, 47. A lot of 47s and 48s recently. A lot of those. Thank you very much, Shake and Bake. Almost four years there. We got Hampe. Okay, my... I jumped in the middle of me gliding. Cringe. Hampe, one year of subbing. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Matty707 with the Prime sub. Thanks very much for dropping the Prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we got Gildo gifting a sub. Thanks, Gildo. Not following my own rule. Gotta stand still first, then go. Uh, Sly Guy with 81, DTAC 77. Big subs coming back. Thank you very much. And NTT Silver to 13. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Nice to be back home. Back in the groove of things. Get, get up there. But as soon, like, these summers are just so busy. Like, I'm home for two weeks, and then it's like, well, we got GCX next. And then home for a little bit, and then it's like, well, we have Final Shape content explosion, and next season, and then also PAX, and then it's okay for a couple weeks, and it's like, well, TwitchCon. So summer just gets really busy for me, and trying to manage travel and content and streams can be uh, a little exhausting. Yeah, true in a raid race. Think we get any more exotics that have unique interactions with legendary weapons, kind of like Sturm and Mida. Given that those were like pretty much the only ones of their kind, uh, and they came out like, what, almost six years ago now, and we haven't really had anything since, I'm gonna wager a guess and say probably not. I wouldn't rule it out completely, but I would say probably not because I think Bungie sees a lot of feedback of uh, along the lines of don't force us to use things and they've taken that advice very seriously. So I would I would be surprised. 
I'd really be surprised. You've done a master dungeon with Jess and Danielle? Uh, have we done a master dungeon? I don't know if we've done a master dungeon of this. No, we haven't, because I literally ran my first master over the weekend. So, no, we haven't. I don't know if they're going to be too interested, though. I guess unless Jez really needs <laughs> really needs content. Yeah, we did Spire. All right, let me change to... Acrius? Um, Acrius? Acrius? Acrius. A doot doot doot, a doot doot doot, a doot 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 doot. Do I have... I should have Ark. I have... <laughs> like, I should have Ark. It should be Ark. It should be fine. It was not fine. Ooh, it hurts. The beast is awake. I think that's all three. Oh, no, it was only two. Okay. Now nah, it's three. Oh, my God. That's some nice damage. Wrong sequence. Not bad. It's Wendy. A new merch coming. Uh, exclamation point merch. But I, dude, after I edit this, uh, after I edit this uh, sponsored video tomorrow, I'm literally like, I'm not working on videos until I have my full merch plan, like locked and ready to go. I have just, there's been so many merch requests and I'm kind of running out of time if I want to have it out in time for, uh, for like a holiday drop or something. So I'm literally gonna forego video content until I get it that done. So we can get the ball rolling. But yes, there I do want to have a merch drop. Drop number four. Technically five, but you know what I mean. That's two. Oh, oh that's three.
Well, that'll do it. I think I need robes for Warlock. Let's just see what I actually need so I don't bait everybody. That's fire. Yeah, I need robes. Robes. No. <laughs> no. And I've been good. Can I get an upgrade? Nah. I need robes. I need robes so bad. Hunter, I still need three pieces, so I could probably run it back on Hunter and actually get something. Get up there. From Master Spire for uh, for the armor, Runus effigy was nuts on Void Hunter since the ball explosion stunned overloads. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go find the brim after I get through the water. Cause I hear him tip tapping around and he's gonna get into trouble. He getting in trouble. What are you doing? You getting into trouble, bro? Sorry about that. Sorry. Wait, nope, this one. Sorry. We'll get back to Mario. I do want to get back to Mario. I saw Sweat was running. How's he doing on Mario? What's his, uh, what's his time? Yeah, Saki, I did. All right. Um, does anyone know if Rob is live right now, by the way? Is he live? He is? Okay, cool. I don't know if he was like waiting for me or not. But we are going to do this, and then we are going to do the coaching session. Is that the face of someone who would get into trouble? It is. Right now, I hear him. I hear him doing tippy taps down the stairs. He doing the tippy tappies. I can hear him. Thinks he's uh. He thinks he's slick. I can hear him. I got him on the cams. My dog got in a bunch of trouble, went for a walk through the town. Oh my goodness. I think Brim... If Brim ever got out, I think one, either he would just like be lost, lost to the streets forever, or he would walk around for like five minutes and immediately come back home. Now that I think he's a little more trained, I think he would, I think he would uh, come home immediately. He's very good with boundaries. Like he knows like where the boundaries are. But fortunately, he never really gets the opportunity to escape anyway. Because <laughs> that fence is closed. Oh, that's a lot of mods. Shit, he's got 
that. Uh, last one is... Or is this the last one? Oh, that was the last one. All right. Pete is dead 55 months. Check him. What is this? 4chan in 2010. And Kronk the Barbarian. Four months. What's going on, Kronk? Thanks for re-upping the sub. Welcome back. Come on, do the thing. There you go. All right, we have three dots. Three dot, three dot, three dot, three dot. My husky would jump over our fence. I always like. I always told myself if I was ever gonna get a dog, it would be a husky. And then I learned how dramatic they are. I was like, oh my god. If I think Brim is dramatic. Huskies are insanely dramatic. You know what help next time is getting an effing orb of light. Sorry, power. For... This 22% bonus damage that I'm not getting. We're too far for Arc Souls. Why do I feel like only three moths spawned in? Yeah, the Huskies are just like so much upkeep. And like, I'm thinking about what I do right now with Brim. It's like, well, I'm working all day. Basically have no time to do anything with him. We, I, we, did, we take walks in the morning and then most of the rest of the day, he just kind of plops. He's just kind of a plopper. You know, I make sure to give him as much outside time as I can before I start streaming, because then otherwise, you know, I can't keep as much of an eye on him. And I'm just like, huh, this is what it would have been like if I actually did get a pet when I was living by myself. And turns out it would have been a lot of brim being a plopper, and I just would feel bad. And I'm glad to know that I made the right call in not getting a pet when I was, or at least not getting a dog when I was, uh, ooh, when I was, uh, by myself. Well, I gotta pick up some power ammo here. Huge puppy and she's a terror. Oh man. I would like, man, getting a puppy is just, they're so adorable, but man, is it a, is it a challenge? Ow. Okay. Hamburger. Do burger. 
I don't know. Brim, Brim ended up being like the perfect dog for our situation because he's just like, he's got little bursts of energy here and there, and it's like fun to play with him for a few minutes, and then he's like, all right, I'm tired. And then he just goes back to, like, all he wants to do is lay in the sun. That's it. That's all he wants to do. Oh, make it. Again, did not get any orbs. How did I, how did that miss? Oh, my cranium. Literally, if I just would have been smart and got orbs, that's probably the difference maker. Both times. Yeah, all Brim wants to do is just plop in the sun. That's it. And I just keep an eye on him outside. And he just ping pongs around different sunspots. And that's it. And he loves to cuddle on the couch, and that's all he wants to do, and it's perfect. Last one's up again. Of course. Got him. We have all three? We have all three. We got all three. Has it not been too hot out lately for you? It's been like 70s, 80s. We walk them in the morning. We walk them at night when it's nice and cool. Um, if, it's, if it's anything like over 80, I really don't like to walk them unless it's a really short walk. Because he will... You know, he's, he's an older doggy. He gets a little tuckered out. Usually around, uh, at this, at this point in the, um, in the summer, you know, he can, he can last about 15, 20 minutes before he starts getting really overheated. And it's very easy to tell when he is. Because usually during the walk, like, he wants to lead all the time. Like, the leash is at almost maximum distance every single time. So I know that if it's not at maximum, <laughs> if it's not at maximum distance, if he's walking next to me, that he's so tired. I'm pretty sure I said I was division, right? Okay. I'll do. Robes, 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 robes. We want robes. Yes. And immediately delete. I was like, imagine we get a god tier rocket as well. Boom. Boom.
Pugin. Another title, Dunsky. Yes. Yes! What do I have left? I still have... Still have Witch Queen. We're very close on that. And then what do I need for Aquanaut? Oh, just get kills with Season of the Deep Weapons. Okay. I'm very close. I'm three crafted guns away from having all the crafteds. I am... What? To, wait. Active titles earned. Oh, okay. Never mind. I read that wrong. We only have this. These two to go for that. And I'm pretty close on those. So, we're very close. Very, very close. Two year old pup does not like the heat. Yeah. I mean, I just, like, even if, even if Brim, I mean, Brim does like the warmth of the sun for sure. But when it gets too hot, when it gets too hot, like, I just, you know, I just, I see how quickly it affects them. Like, I've seen and read stuff of, like, how quickly the heat can really affect dogs. So, like, any times Brim outside, any times outside, I'm looking straight at the cams. And the moment I see him start panting, I was like, nope, come in. Come in. Do I have all the legacy titles, too? I have most of them, I think. Yeah, the only ones that I was missing are Flawless, which, like, lol. And then I never got... I regret not getting Conqueror in, I believe this was season 11. Um, but at the time, getting the same title over again, like didn't get you anything. There was no gilding, there was no nothing. Um, so I was just like, wall, I don't care. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the only thing I regret not getting. And I think, yeah, I was, I was missing two. Mainly because I only gave them, like, a couple of tries. What title do I usually use? Um, I'm usually on Conqueror, or I'm on Reckoner. I don't know why I'm on Dream Warrior right now. Usually, usually I'm on, like, the last thing that I acquired, just because I click it to activate it, and then I don't do anything with it. Um, so I usually throw on, like, Reckoner. Where's Reckoner? Reckoner is... Oh, is that a... It's probably a legacy title, huh? Reckoner. No, that's not Reckoner. That's Reckoner. I knew it was a thing with, like, this... Yeah, you know. Uh, I tend to use, like, more of the old school ones. Reckoner, Blacksmith, Riven's Bane, or just Conqueror. Uh, maybe, if, like, you know, like, Reveler I used for a few days because it was new. So, all right, let me check on Rob. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick as well. Wonderful. And we're going to pay the mods. I'm going to play a two minute. I know I literally just stepped away. I'm sorry. Um, but we're going to pay the mods, and uh, I'm going to check a couple emails real quick, and then we're doing our little uh, coaching session here. Umbral Engrams. Yeah, I saved them as, like, a novelty. There's no reason they're still there. Just as a novelty. All right, be right back. Two minutes. We're we'll into the bathroom and uh, check a couple emails. All right, we're going to get... We're going to get Rob on the line here. We're going to thank subs, and then we're going to get Rob on the line here. Um, K-Bobe, 38 months of subbing. Dust with 49 months of subbing. Polar Bear Smash, 55 months of subbing. Big, big subs coming back. Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome back. And we got Nordic Guy with 14 months. Thank you very much, Nordic Guy, for the 14. Um, drink water. Got you. Um, okay, so just so you guys know, um, 
I will probably not be reading chat as much while we're doing this thing with Rob. Um, it's supposed to be more of like, we're actually putting on a show as opposed to me just being a, a Q and A session. Um, so I will uh, mainly be focusing on Rob and his gameplay, not so much the chat, although I will try to chime in wherever I can. Um, sub readouts are going to be done in bulk as I usually do, just so you guys know. Um, but uh, again, we are going to be focused on Shattered Throne today. Uh, Rob has never soloed a dungeon. And uh, so we are, we're going to venture into the solo experience. You know, the, the beginning part is not really the most intense. Um, in fact, I might do it along with him just to get him to... Well, no, I, I guess if you want the achievement, you need to, you need to do the opening encounter. Um, and the whole point is to get him the achievement. So, um, that's what's up. Hopefully you, you pick up some tips along the way. If you're, you know, maybe not used to soloing dungeons or anything like that, this is a good kind of first step into the solo dungeon experience. Um, I imagine a lot of you actually, you know what? Let's take a poll real quick. Um, where's the poll button? <laughs> where's my poll button? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, okay. Here's the poll. Have you soloed Shattered Throne? Yes, no, and I have tried. No, I have not tried. I'm just interested. Just interested to see how many people in here have soloed Shattered Throne. I just want to see what like the uh, the percentage is here. Okay, so more than half of you so far have soloed Shattered Throne. Very small percentage have tried and not done it. But the bulk who have not soloed it haven't tried. 36% haven't even tried. Okay. Does soloing during revelry count? Uh, I guess. I don't know. No, it doesn't. Norm, just a normal solo. Yeah, and not solo flawless. Just, just solo. Doesn't have to be... Doesn't have to be flawless. Okay, so it's still more than half of you have soloed it. Let me ping him. All right, we'll cut this. Uh, cut this poll. Here, I'll vote. I'll do the solo flawless. New poll. Of those of you who have soloed, do you do it solo flawless? Or does solo? Also interested to know. Okay, the majority of you have done the solo flawless. So far, uh, two out of every three have done it uh, flawless. Okay. What chair do I use? Is it the Embody? I believe this is the Embody. And then I've also... Use this chair. Uh, I use this chair for like a couple months. I, I just kind of like going back and forth. Um, yeah. I sit like a moron though. I, d I don't get like, I feel like I never use the backrest on this thing. I don't know. I just sit. I sit so dumb. Leg up on the chair still. All right. Yeah, about two-thirds of you have done the solo flawless. Um, can someone yell at Rob in his chat and tell him to check Discord? I think it's KBM.
It's my favorite class to do a solo dungeon. Probably Titan, because that's just the one I'm the most experienced with. And tight solo Titan has it pretty easy. Oh, I never checked that email. Okay, Rob will be joining Discord momentarily. Would you say there is a give and take with personal playstyle and being able to successfully run high level content? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, I don't care if your personal playstyle involves a uh, triple bow, triple grenade launcher, triple shotgun, whatever. Um, the game doesn't care about how you like to play for certain activities. Yeah, and you're, you're going to need to be willing to adapt to the encounter. The encounter doesn't adapt to you. You need to adapt to the encounter. And it wouldn't surprise me if some people's struggles in solo content was because they refused to adapt to the situation versus trying to force something you know 50k reckoner or bust uh, dropping a 50k to say reckoner or bust imo from noodle ninny fair enough reckoner is uh it's it's one of those titles rob is lost really trying to ready. Find... there he is Sorry, I like could not find your Discord to save the uh, life of me. On the 80 Discords I have on my left side of my Discord. Yeah, I feel you on that. All right, let's see that gameplay. Okay. There's a reason I'm. Sh Boom. Let's pop this open. So you have done. You've done some grinding. Yeah, dude. You've done some grinding. Like, put some respect on my name. Yeah. I know you. You did some grinding. You said, you said you said eighteen thirteen, and I said bet. Yeah. No, you've done some grinding. Your fashion game is sick. Like you, yeah. you've done good. Let me get you've your opinion good. on it. Mr. I think Thurman your fashion's Blue, sick. Dogging, bro. Really? Dogging on it. I think it's dogging. sick. I think it looks great. And you know what, Dad? I'm gonna make it even better for you. Look at this. Hmm. All different. All different. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Crazy. No, I, I, I dig it. Snapped on that. I dig it, 100%. I'm into it. I think it's great. Thank you. Um, okay. The first thing I want to do mm -hmm. is I want to see what exotics you have. Just every single exotic. I just tab okay. through. Um, literally just okay, open well, up I... your collections and. Uh, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I yeah. the bad boys in here. No, no, no. Yeah, just open up your collections. Okay. And, uh, and I just want to see what you do and do have. Because I, I think part of the experience here is okay. going to be, like, figuring out what we can work with with a probably somewhat limited inventory. Okay, I have uh, 171 out of 471, so I'm almost oh. there. Okay, so let's let's see what you got here. So you have a lot of the earlier ones. Okay. I don't have yeah. a Rat King because it was bad. That's okay. I don't get that. Yeah, you, you can live without that. Wish Ender is something you, you might want to pick up at some point. Um, okay. Because Wish Ender has gotten some, some pretty significant buffs. It's a very good solo item. Um, uh -huh. What else you got? Let's see. So you have Arbalest. Uh, that's good. Outbreak. Monte that's Carlo. good. Monte Carlo. Monte uh, Carlo is... It's got a bayonet on the thing. It's, it's there. Um, I got Wither Horde. That's one. Okay. That's, that's one that's good. like, yeah. That's good. Okay, you got more than I thought. You got more than what I thought. What are these unknown ones? 
Uh, that's a great question. I'd have to look. But you, I mean, you even got conditional. I don't have you touch got... of malice though. I that's okay. It's on how to do it yet. It's it's not. Well, it's, supposedly it's getting a big buff, but right now, like, you don't really need it. Um. Okay. What about energy weapons? What was that? Energy energy weapons. What do you got? Oh, okay. okay, you got a, you got a good chunk of them as a well. A lot. I just don't have the Jotun. Yeah, that's fine. Um. All right. Okay. You got you got more than I thought. Let's hit next page. Next page. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're missing some glaives. Okay. Put some respect I mean, on my name. I mean, Tiku's. This is a little. This is missing a little bit more. Yeah. No. I mean, that's okay. I mean, Tiku's is pretty good. I would like to see Tiku's in your inventory at some point, or Hierarchy of Need, either one. This. Yeah. This thing's a beast. It's pretty beastly. It's a bow. I know, but it's a beast. Dude, exotic bow's bows. Good? Exotic bows are probably some of the best primaries in the entire game. Okay. Like, pretty much every single one is a banger. Where, how do you get that one? I think Tiku's is probably just from the, uh, the exotic kiosk at this point. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So Does that mean I gotta use your spoils? That would be a spoils one. We don't need to buy it. This is mainly I just I'm just kinda taking like an audit of like what do you got? And uh you got more than I thought, so uh let's see about power weapons. We got power weapons. Okay, here's where we're we're lacking a little bit. We have okay. a lot of the earlier ones. Damn you do have right. an anarchy. You got an anarchy, that's good. Things, you got a Thunderlord. Things were down, I was there. Yeah. Um, I'm still here. Okay, we got G Horn. Okay, okay. The Lament. Yeah, that's hey, hey, that's definitely the, the one. Catalyst. Catalyst. Nice. I don't, yeah. That's you know, good. That's know, good. I got the catalyst. I don't know how at some point I got it, but I do. <laughs> um, I'd say like the one the one exotic that you could probably go get that's gonna be pretty strong is the Lament. Uh, that's a power weapon. Um, yeah. This thing is. I don't. This is I don't. The cloud sword, right? Yeah. I don't think this thing is too difficult to get. Um, I think it's beyond light uh, weapon, but we're not going to need it right now. This is how Warlock skate, right? Uh, no, well, mm, I'm not sure. I don't think okay. they need the Lament to skate. I see. Oh, that's true. Spoils are only for raid exotics, yeah. You might, you might just need, what, an exotic cipher to get those, I think. I don't know what I have in my um, inventory. Do I have one? Uh, yes, you do. I do! Yeah. Well, how do I get, how do I get this? Uh, you probably got it from like a, a long time ago. Season pass, probably. Yeah, I did buy the dungeons for $20. Uh, yeah. To as a cross as a fail, or a fail. <laughs> no, I think, so. I, the dungeon, I think, is okay. Dungeons are actual content. Okay. Um, and yeah, you also have a Forsaken Cypher, too. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is that a giggle? Why so. is that? I just like I I don't I can't even recall the last time I've even seen a Forsaken cipher. So I'm you might collector. be able to just it's buy a it's a collector thing. Buy one. Um so okay. So I wanna start I think we're gonna start with solo dungeon with you and then okay. maybe towards the end we'll do uh we'll do a law sector. Um how's how's the old vault doing here? How are we how are we on this? Just this is not the purpose of, of what we're doing. I just this is just like a checkup. Um, is it dire? What would be dire for you? It's this is dire. This is dire. Yeah, this, this is, is dire. It, what you mean? This is this is dire. This is dire. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know this page existed. I haven't looked at this past like page four. This is dire. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look, look at I was going, Dado. Look oh at me. I was going. You were going all right. And I mean, you got a lot of good ones. All right. Yeah, and There's I don't even so use So many them. regnants. Yeah, GLs just didn't end up popping off. Oh my god. Okay, this is this oh, is a this problem is for another Dado. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like um, I didn't I didn't pay for that package. Like I know like it's yeah. a whole other kind of package deal. You that just maybe have you so could... many like whenever season you surprise, 20. Whenever you surprise those dumb idiots who have a bad vault again again, just pretend <laughs> like you surprised me and I'll have this waiting for you. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, I feel like with yours like I could just 
We'll, we'll deal with it another time. Let's. Okay. We're going to go to Shattered Throne. Okay. What do you remember okay. about Shattered Throne? Anything? Okay. Uh, um, I like this gun. Okay. Hold on. Uh, and I like this one. Is double okay. uh, secondary still tight or no? Yeah, that's still that's still fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let me level this real quick. Uh, Shattered Throne. Yeah. Uh, that looks kind of good. Uh, this one. Yeah. It was a big level up. You went from I think seventeen ninety nine to eighteen hundred. Okay. Uh, Shattered Throne. <laughs> um, what can I tell you about it? I couldn't even tell you where it is to even start it, Dado. I'll be okay. honest with you. Uh, that's hey, that's why we're here. I just want to. I just want to see I'm your familiarity. Guess throne World. That's incorrect. Although solid guess, I see where you're going with it. Yeah. It's Shattered kind of Throne, scary. Throne World. Yeah, throne World. I, I get it. You know. I get it. Um, it is on the Dreaming City. It's okay. the first dungeon we ever got. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I remember this because Mr. Fruit and Blue roasted me a lot. Okay. Uh, because um, I didn't grasp the uh, shadow thing for a long time. It's the okay. shadow one, right? The... No, is that like, is I, prophecy. I oh, I don't... I okay, think that's then, prophecy. Then this one next... No, I don't know any. I don't know what okay. I'm going into. Um, so the, the first chunk of this, I'm not going to lie. It, it's not really that complex. The, the main thing I really want to see you tackle is I guess maybe some of the movement and some of the like ogre, uh, the ogre nice. encounter. So that's what, where I feel like the, the first real combat test is going to be. Um, but for now, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing Okay. until you get to the ogre boss, I would say, um, but what would you say is the hardest thing you've ever done by yourself in this game? Oh, man. Probably forcing myself to buy the season pass every uh, other time. All right, so um, not too much. But I, I, the hardest thing is solo yeah. in this? Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Um, back in Destiny 1, when the Nightfall, I think, was... It was week two... Um, for the first week of GM or Nightfalls, I got Icebreaker to drop, and then week okay. two came around. It was Venus, I think, and it was the one with the little. You could like stand at the top, and then the Minotaur would spawn. The Nexus, you, yeah. Yeah, it was that one, I think. And I shot the Icebreaker every time. Would turn around, kill the Minotaur, and then shot the thing again. All for Ascendant shards, I think it was. I got or yeah, Motelite. Yeah, yeah. I forgot what I got. Okay. That was the toughest thing I did in Destiny. And that was nine years ago. Yeah, so it's it's been a minute. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. I just want to see how you're gonna handle some of this combat here. Okay. Um, this is What's this might as well level? be like new con. Uh, this is sixteen hundred. This is floor. This is okay. six year old content or five year old new. content. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel like I've done this before. At some point, I've done this. You've definitely done it before. There's no. There's not a chance you haven't done it. it. If, if Mr. If, there has to be some sort of we made this for Mr. Fruit content. Yeah, definitely. There's I mean, this no is like way. a it's a premier piece honest, of content. This may be new to me. I don't know any of this. Oh, that's, here for you. That's for you, fine. my friend. I turn on the music. Thank you. For, for you, my friend. I'll turn on the music. Okay. This mainly, I just want to see how you're gonna handle some of these solo situations. Um, how about that? How about me handling oh my god, I thought you were going to... I'm not going to lie, I thought you were going to fall off there. No um, way. Yeah, right. Get in the practice now, because there's another uh, there's another platforming seven... section after this. How about a 720 for you? Take that one on the way home. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. So this doesn't drop anything, right? Like, there's no reason for new players to play this, correct? Uh, Not really, no. At this point, this is... Uh, you're not really doing this for, uh, for the drops. You're doing this for you know you want to do a solo thing cool you maybe you want to do some farming lower the volume on this Even a little cooler. bit so i'm gonna be honest Addo. um i'm a yep. big fan of your guides uh -huh. and your guide on um this thing mm -hmm. gotta be one of my favorites yeah so yeah, it's i good. use it all the time except i noticed that the the only thing that triggers it is my We'll just do this then. 
How about this? Do you have you you probably have a graviton lance somewhere, right? I do. It's somewhere. Break break that thing out. That thing just got a gigantic buff, and it's gonna work really well with your build. It got buffed. Wasn't it already really good? Uh, it was fine, but now it's now it's Dang, a I, lot. I feel bad for all the losers that don't have it. Uh, pretty much everyone should have. I'm pretty sure you got this gun. No, no, not collective. Oh. Graviton Lance. Oh, Graviton Lance? Yeah, this is, it's like a six-year-old exotic. Do I have that, Dado? There's, I don't think there's a shot that you don't. It's six years. I mean, I was there. Where would that be? It would Which be, one? it's in the energy slot. Oh, there hey, it is. We have it. So we like this thing now. This thing is is pretty beefy. I did see you make a video on it, and I was gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I didn't get around to it. You know, too many Astro Cross videos, too many, you know, too many things to watch these days. Mm -hmm. Glass, I feel you. Sweat, sweats running things. What's the exotic perk on this? So whenever you kill stuff, it basically just like does a bunch of explosions. Oh yeah, put that on too. Boom. Oh okay, I still have to do it. Yeah, I mean you'll you'll. It's all right. This thing shreds right now. Okay. Search for a safe passage. Okay. Okay. So we have Infinity Snake. That's what I called this during uh, mm -hmm. Riven. I was there when these actually had callouts. So I'm um, trying. To, I'm trying to remember. I think Infinity Snake's gonna be to your left, and then oh. we are gonna go up the hill and then cross a bridge. Hell yeah! Whoa, taken. Careful, Dado. I mean, you're the one play. You're the one that gotta be careful. No, but I, I, I imagine like I'm Luke Skywalker and you're Yoda, like on my little back. You know? Okay. <laughs> Telling me like what to do and sorts of things. So it you know puts a little bit more weight to it. Yeah. All right. I respect it. Yeah. Again, but this I, part I, is like not that intense. Like it's there's not really like you can take all the time you want. That's a dragon. Um, I need to go to Infinity Snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep go, go, go back the way you came. Um, this section is like not really like super Infinity combat Snake. intense, like at all. This is just like a, you know, get familiar with the setting type of situation. I see. So I just kind of want to see how you're how you're doing combat. The reason, part of the reason I wanted to grab you is because like you're familiar with Destiny. Yes. And you're familiar, like, you're, you're a gamer. Boom. And uh, I just want to kind of to see how Boom, you baby. would handle, like, these kind of solo situations. Because you have, like, good gun skill. You have good, like, shooter oh, skills. But your destiny coming, knowledge is, this. like, maybe not the highest. Just because you haven't played a whole Probably ton. Probably, like, a third grade level. Okay. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, Ooh, see, like right here. I don't know where I'm going. We um, left? No, I Whoa. think I think Whoa. we go towards the middle. E3 pan. Wonderful day, guys. You gotta turn oh, off the hood though. That doesn't even work though. Like E3, like mm -hmm. E3 pan's like dead. Do I say summer yeah. games pan now? Like I, I have no idea. Do I go this way? I'm going this way. Yeah, I go this way. Careful, Robert. Taking about. Gotta protect my sensei. Would you prefer sensei, teacher, professor? Oh, you just call me Dado. Okay. So, professor, when, like, at the end of this, I want, like, goals. Like, all right, Rob, like, next time we meet, uh, I want, like, you to have the, 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 the titty bow, or whatever you called it. Mm -hmm. The Tessus bow. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I, I was... I was hoping that you would be interested enough to be like, let's keep it rolling. But I kind of wanted yeah. to judge to see how you would feel about this first dungeon run. Because this is the easiest one. Like, it only gets harder from here. Okay. Um, so this is kind of like, it's kind of like a layup of, of a dungeon experience. Okay, um, Sensei, can I, can I be honest with you? Can I, like, tell you what, like, my ultimate goal of this would be? Sure. That I do, I do what we, I like to call the leopard uh challenge and that's do what the gm solo or whatever he does you want to try to do a gm solo okay yeah that would be uh, that would be like like honestly teacher like that would be the greatest thing like i could learn okay from you okay. is to the pinnacle of that you know like you know some people probably scoff at that in my channel like 
Rob doing that, but like I I'm a gamer. Like I literally am level three on Face It. I am I think Gold Nova four on CS:GO. Mm -hmm. um, my friend plays on my Valorant account, and it's Diamond. He plays Diamond for me. So you know I do think I can game. Like look at that. Yeah, like, that's good. I, you have good. You got good uh, defensive instincts. Yeah. So that is going to be very and like, good. And you know what, Dado? I have something you can't measure, and that's want. All right? You know, mm -hmm. I want to be here. You know, yeah. I want to solo these dungeons. I want to get the the bow and show you, like, wow, like, this guy can game. You know, like, okay. somebody who really doesn't give a shit about Destiny and, like, doesn't know anything and, like, hardly plays can do some of the content. And you know what? I want to have fun. I bet it's probably fun. And I you think know what? I, I want to think... have fun in Destiny. I think you'll enjoy the solo dungeon experience more than the solo GM experience. But if you really want to get there, then then we can make something happen. But I will say, you're definitely going to need Wish Ender if you want to do any sort of solo GM okay. stuff. Now, how do I get Wish Ender? Those, but that's obviously a long process. Uh, well, funnily enough, Wish Ender actually takes place in this dungeon. Uh, at least, I don't know if you still... I don't think you still get it from... I don't know. Do you do the quests still mm -hmm. like the normal way? Chat? I don't know. Or do you just buy it now? I don't even know where I'm Also, going. Rob, I'm not gonna lie, you're in really not the right spot right now. So I'm gonna- Am I not? You're, well, you were, you were going on like your whole was... thing. I didn't want to interrupt you, but I was like, every step you take is another step farther away from where you need to go right now. Okay. Uh, I think, is it, is I'm, I'm trying there? to remember. I'm trying to remember where it is. Actually, no, dro drop down and go to your right. right no, 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 go, drop down and go to your right. Uh, yeah, okay, so you already cleared everything out here. So we need to go to Fire Breathing Dragon, so go forward. Uh you're gonna dragon. you're gonna go back Dude, the way you I've came. Ever done this. Did I do this chat? Someone go in Mr. Fruit's archive right now and see if we did this dungeon. You've definitely done it. Alright, you basically I mean, you need to get across this chasm, by by the way. Well, Th that's where on. you need to go. Well, you don't have to literally jump over it, but alright. There you go, easy. All right, up, up the hill, and then in, uh, in there. This part, I'm gonna just pretty much straight up tell you where to go, just cause like Ooh. it's not really, it's not really anything too crazy. Busting out my heavy for quest. this one. Wow, okay. And I mean, the Wish Under Quest was kind of a good quest, so. At least back then it was. I don't know. I would say it's probably B tier nowadays. Yeah. Back in the day, maybe higher. I don't know. I've never done the mission clearly. <laughs> All right. All right. A hawk. So call, we call this one Hawk. So where you just were, where I told you, like you've gone way too far. You need to go back there. Okay. So I was in the right spot. Well, at the time you weren't because that's but, not where we needed to go. But now you know where you're going. So you're chilling. Does this drop anything cool? Uh, Shattered Throne? Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like back then it probably like maybe did. Nowadays. Like maybe any cool transmogs? Uh, you probably have most of the items. Like, this This was when Forsaken came out, and I imagine you guys were probably playing Forsaken a pretty decent amount. So, you Mr. probably Fruit have everything. Mr. Fruit and Blue love Forsaken and rate it very highly. I don't yeah. remember they all... For me, Dado, I'm going to be honest, they all blend together. Yeah. Beyond Light might as well have been for taken for me you know like i have no idea yeah i would or say like, that you rise of iron for all i know was the last dlc we had <laughs> like, you probably really... uh you probably have everything that you could get here in terms of transmog Coffee. uh and fish is you turn fish. around and you're gonna go off to the left boom i think it's this Looks like oh, that. also, yeah. Dado, I forgot to tell you this earlier. Yeah. I do have the trial ship. Okay. So that is something that is pretty cool about me as well. I do nice. have the trial ship. Yeah. Nice. A lot of people don't have that. I mean, I don't think Benny, I have that. Benny carried me one time. <laughs> and the one time I went to the lighthouse, I got it. All right, we should be almost done with this. So one this thing I will say... Dungeon is that, well, it is it is the easiest dungeon, I will say. Here, so I'm noticing something already that I don't know if this is just like, Boom. you're just kind of like 
you're just kind of doing whatever because we're in easy mode right now, or if this is yep. what you normally do. But you are burning a, bit both. a lot of power ammo on basically junk tier enemies when yeah. you could just be using your primary. And for like right now, that's totally fine. Like who cares? We're in basically who gives a crap territory. That's kind of the idea. But I do but, probably do that more often than not. Yeah, but it doesn't build like good habits. And like, I know that's an issue Danielle has, like whenever we do GMs and stuff, is that she will just rip through her power ammo so fast and then she'll never have it for when she actually needs it. Um, so for like right now in the activity that we're in, the Graviton Lance, the, the the gun that you're using right now, is going to be more than enough where we don't really need to burn our power ammo. And instead, we want to use power ammo on those bigger priority targets. Uh, you can make 180. Um, we want to use those that, that power ammo on more priority targets um, just to build better habits. Because especially in like if you want to solo a GM, like we got to start yeah. building good habits now. Yeah. While things, even while things are easy, while they don't matter. Because if um, I want to be like the legend leopard, um, yeah, you you gotta have a very good grasp on ammo management, on champions, crosshair uh, placement. So let's uh, turn around here. I guess you could also go this way, um, but we want to go to the lower. Yeah, keep going straight and then make a left. Um, Angle Louis. If that's left, then do it. And I feel like this should be either the last one or second to last one. I can't remember. Look at that. And then the combo, Dado. So it pulls them into it. Well, you know? the tether already pulls them in. But like the double pull, you know what I mean? Look, yeah, I'm shooting its for legs because sure. he has a shield in front of it. See, so like I understand the fundamentals, you know? All right. I uh, hope let you, me like, are you going to do like other like uh, kindergartians? Like, are you going to do one that's like, I don't know how to play PC games? Like, teach me um, Destiny. I'm still figuring it out. Okay. Uh, the I played, uh, we did a three-hour session with Pure Chill um, about, a, about, I'd say about a month Please ago. Please tell me I'm better at him at PvE already. I have at, to be. At PvE? Yes. Um, I would say he's probably better because right. he has Goal soloed one. a dungeon. Uh, what? Pure soloed he, a dungeon before? He, I think he's soloed duality, which is like probably the second hardest to do. Um, but he just like he doesn't have a good grasp on like I'm champion content no. or like content with champions in it. Uh, you can oh, go back to uh, the start. You fish. Or um, and I feel like that's that's probably most people's biggest struggle with Destiny yeah. in general is knowing how to handle champions at a high level because i feel like a lot of people just kind of okay. panic when they see champions um i and, panic as well yeah because it's just most people don't know how to actually fight against them they don't know the timings um and in reality like they're not really that difficult to to figure out look at that data all the heavy ammo into this guy oh god i gotta reload now see invis good instincts, my good instincts. Boom, boom, boom. See, I'm going invis again, though. See? Boom! Now I get... Now I get... Oh, God. I'm going to die. No, you're fine. Remember, Ooh. we're also not trying to solo flawless this on the first try. Like, I if mean... you die, it's no big. There we it go. It would impress you, though, Coach, right? It would very much impress me. See? And that's what I'm out here to do. All right, we're dropping down. I don't want to lose so my flawless. most of the next part here is just kind of platforming. So I am interested to see how you kind of maneuver through the platforming stuff. Uh, what dungeon would you go to you know, solo? I com yeah. I completed only up in about an hour. And okay. I nearly had a sub 30 speed run, but I choked on dragon skip. All right, then there but now be a there's piece a new T-Rex skip where, oh, uh, sure. What dungeon would you right. go for solo after throne? I would definitely say pit. I think pit is a very good next step. That's also a good fallout, good fallout three DLC. For sure. You ever play? Uh, I played fallout three. I didn't play any of the DLC. Um. Oh, is that a chest? No. This is not, not a chest, no. Looks like one though, not baited. 
pit or grasp. I I think I would actually go pit over grasp in terms of how easy uh, versus hard. Oh, I was about to. They are blow these dudes into smithereens. Yep, I can finish too. I just nearly broke my game doing it, but. Hardest dungeon solos, I would say it's ghosts. It's ghosts, if not duality, but I think ghosts has, has kind of taken over. Now we're getting we're getting a little aggressive here. Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, you, we are you got devour. Getting... You got devour, so it's okay. You just keep killing. I'm a little nervous. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah. Do you have like the uh, the the fourth times uh, like god roll on your on your retrofit? I do. Okay. Just double checking. Just something, you know, something light. Mm -hmm. You know, priceless. What I was <laughs> the price tag I'd put on it. You know, I had to grind for that view. And this Riptide also owns. I played maybe two PvP games my whole life, and I got it. Yeah. I, I mean, if it if it has chill clip, then it's good. Hey, fella, knock it off. You, you hey, can just go inside. Watch this. No, watch this. Boom. Does that remind you of a name from TTT? That reminds me of one. I was going to say CS, but you got that lineup. Oh so my I'm not going to lie. I would I would dip. Yeah, I, I would kind of... You would dip? I would either back up or really aggressively push something. Nah. You're not going to make this jump. We didn't make the jump. Yeah, that is a very tough jump to make. You you Excel basically uh, you need some help to make that jump. And my mobility is not the highest. At least. Oh, yeah. I'm not even talking mobility. I'm talking like you need, you need like a sword. Oh, I'm so far now. Yeah, you gotta go all the way back, dude. If you die, you gotta reset. But wait, here, did, here wait, here's the wait, thing. Did Pure Chill do his flawless. Well, we didn't do dungeons with him. We focused more on uh, law sector combat. So like champ anti-champion combat, stuff like that. With you, I, I didn't want to throw you right into champions. I feel like something like this would be more interesting to you versus I trying see. to learn I about gotta, champion combat. I gotta have a little bit more dumbed down than pure chill. I get it. Yeah, well, just for now. And I also I'm knew not. that your your inventory was probably a little bit weaker than Piers, just because like yeah, Piers is Pierce a bit more active on the game. All right, let's put those inventories up together. Okay. I mean, you got to talk to him. Let's see what Piers is working with. For all I know, he's got something crazy cooked up in there. I actually have played Pure uh, <laughs> in CS:GO with Pure, which was fun. He was getting what? pushed into. He's getting pushed, and he literally goes, "I'm getting aped right now." <laughs> I had never heard that in CS before. So. It's like stealth walking. <laughs> They're aping me, bro. <laughs> yeah, basically, it was so funny. Funny guy. Throne was pre-champions, yes. Oh my god, I don't have any. I don't have any heavy. Yeah. That's because you. Why I not? mean, because you've been you've been using it a little irresponsibly. Oh my lord. Ooh. You've been using it a little irresponsibly and you don't really get it back. Aha. There you go, there's some. Never punish. Please don't die. There we go, you're chilling, you're chilling. Hit the finisher if you need to. Finishers Big are not only here. good to instantly kill something, but also... Hello? But also to uh, save some ammo. I don't don't worry about him. What was that? Kill kill the rest of the stuff out here and then we're going to uh we're going to take a little bit slower going into the the next room. Boom. BM. I'm glad you acknowledged that that was BM because otherwise I would have said, "Why are we using a full fusion shot on a vandal that has 5% HP?" You know what I mean? BM. Again, it's about right, building um, good instincts, but you knew that that was BM, so. All right, all right so how, how are we thinking about handling this? We're gonna go invis first, and we're gonna go to the right here. Boom! Knock these twos out. And then we're gonna work on the right side. Already pushing through. What? Gonna go through my okay. little teleport thing. That's not a teleporter. Yeah, no, it's not. And then I'm gonna work on the right left side now. Maybe not, because now I'm just getting kind of cooked. Boom, from way downtown, that's not doing much. Yeah, this is where I'd switch back to the Graviton. 
The boom, grab boom. sounds very, very strong from range. We probably got to take out these hobs Kill first. The snipers. Kill there the snipers. There we go. Go invis. Now I have avoid invisibility for two seconds. And now I have volatile rounds. And then I just go invis again. And then for my favorite YouTuber, Datto, told me that I can just change change this over and over again. There we go. Good. And see, like, you, you don't need the machine gun to, to just nuke everything. Look how look how much damage this thing can be doing. I mean, that guy, you, want, you probably want to get a little bit closer. But all these red bars, like, you don't need a machine gun to take them out. You really yeah. don't. The machine yeah, gun think... should be used more uh, in, in in more dangerous situations or like when you need boss damage or something like that. We want to be pretty conservative with our ammo use unless we know that we're going to be able to get more of it. Okay. And, and especially like here... with Graviton. Like Graviton is doing some of the highest exotic primary DPS in the game right now. Why is that? Because uh, it just got a gigantic buff. Yes. Huge. Huge one bounty. <laughs> <laughs> See, Dado, I set goals for myself too, and I said, I want to get this bounty done. I got one bounty done today. Just one. There we go. Pew, pew. All right, now I'm not going to lie. Yeah. In between here and basically the first boss, if you die, you go all the way back. Okay, not, so you're saying be not real to now. uh not to the first thing that we did, but like where you have to make that giant fall down, you yeah. go all the way back there. Yeah. So we gotta be pretty worry, yeah. meticulous. I've been here before. Not like in this situation, but like in yeah. other games. Check this out. Woo, I'm right here, dude. Invis. Try that, Warlocks. Thanks for helping my friend. He's a very special up and coming talent in the PvE scene. No problem, Benny. I got you. Yeah. Hey, it's gotta be cool though. I bet when all you when you were helping Pure, all he did one was talk about tattoos and how gas you'd look with them, Dado. Uh I don't think that came up. Really? You're telling me you lie. did something with Pure and tattoos didn't come up I don't think time. they did, no. He must know his audience then and know, knows you probably don't have any tattoos. Uh, all right, so I'm, I'm saying being, you got to be very careful here because these ogres got knocked back and they will boop you oh. just like that. So we got to, we can't get too close because otherwise they're going to start knocking us. I got to be on my teens. Also, don't worry about that relic. That's for something else. I don't want you getting distracted with that. Threw it off the map. All right, we're going to take out this sure ogre as well. Distracted. Boom. Dude, 1,500. Like, that's doing a lot. Check this out. Ready? Well, let's you, you don't have your grenade. <laughs> Well, I mean, He's it hiding. landed on the thing. He's hiding. Pixel Be careful angle. you don't fall off that cliff there. Cause I don't I, get I think, nervous. Am I think you're, you nervous? Ah! I think your your mantle opportunities are low here. So you, you, if you slip, it, that might I'm be it. I'm nervous. Um, oh, there's spawning more over there. Another ogre? Yeah. Oh, of course. Baha, I have a shield behind me. Graviton Lance. <coughs> Speaking of Lance, one of my favorite Instinct members. Don't ask me why I'm okay. proud of that. I was wondering where we were going with that. Lance Bass. No, I'm familiar. You know that was my first concert ever. Instinct? Yeah. They put on a good show at Fiddlers. It was pretty awesome. They did one thing where they were like behind a green screen and they were like moving in eight bit pixels. And I was like, huh? Whoa. Yeah, it was pretty like a, for it being like 2002. I was going to say, sick. like, it had to be a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Like, I was just a youth. 
All right, we're getting Dado, to about the halfway you point here. Things while you're, um, you know, okay. coaching me and stuff. Do, do, so if do, there's a, do not, what, do not, do not what? Do go that go right in front of you. You you thinking like we'll jump this way? I'm thinking go the other way, turn you around, go this way, and then make a right. Okay. No, sorry, you're the other other way. Oh, is, oh this way. Yeah, that way. Yeah, we want nothing to do with those little spinny sections. Wait, Dado, Taylor Swift's coming to Seattle soon. Are you going? Oh, I know. No, I'm not. I'm You're not, not going anywhere this weekend. I'm not. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'm not into Taylor Swift. I'm neutral on Taylor Swift. I thought I was too, and then I, Cindy and I really dug into the history of Taylor Swift and the song she has. I'm a fan. All right, we need to commit here. You gotta Commit be very what? careful, cause cause if this ogre gets any closer, he might start shooting you. He ain't shooting. Sh there we go. The only thing All he's right. shooting is the grave. All right. Good move. Good move. Boom. Boom. The lineup. Oh. Pretty anticlimactic. Yeah. Uh, I, think I, I don't think I don't think, I don't think you need to kill him. I don't think you need to kill him. I think you just go forward here. Yeah, but like I don't want any witnesses. All right. You know I don't want him running to Oryx saying like, "Hey, I saw the Guardian," and then Oryx being like, "I mean, this is then post Oryx, like long, long after see, Oryx." You see, Dado, but that's what Oryx especially wants you to think, bro. If you're spreading around the rumor that Oryx is. Do I make this? Yeah. Uh, if you're spreading around the rumor that Oryx is gone, he's going to come back just like Papa Patine did. All right? I'm slow. I don't know about that, but... Epic music. Um, so, yeah. So, you are slowed here. You also don't regenerate your health. Just keep that in mind. But you do have access to Devour, so you should be okay. But this is just literally you're walking through, and you just got to keep, keep going, keep holding W. Boom! Boom! Whoa, I more? wouldn't I wouldn't get in the habit of doing that. I would just shoot him because you're just gonna explode all of them just like that. There you go. These dudes gang up on you and you're toast. Yeah, but like you can't like see that of you're a titan and you know you you're used to punching. I got these things mm -hmm. need to know that hunters we mean business too. All right? I mean hunters we arguably have a better punching build than titans do. You're just not on the right subclass. This is pretty cool though. The music sounds pretty cool. I yeah. normally don't play with the music on. Sorry, John like that, that is that is the one the one constant in this game is that the music is amazing. Well, there's a lot of constants about this game that are very very good, but music is one of them. You being one of them as well. I am a constant of the game. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you're. No. I'm, I I get what you're saying. All right, let's drop down. All right, we got one more, basically one more section here. Uh-huh. And then we will be in boss territory. I'm no longer slowed. Correct. All right, I'm going to mute my uh mute my game here. Yeah, cuz it is getting pretty epic. What okay, can I say something? That it may start some some chatter. No. Why is this already cooler than the <laughs> latest raid we got? What? Shattered Throne? Yes. Like, why is this cooler than, I think, the last raid? Like, cooler how? Not, cooler in just, I think, like, the environment and how it looks, I think. Okay. I mean, I think Root of Nightmares, in terms of its environment, was actually one of the more, like kind of stunning areas that we've had in the game so far but i think it just kind of comes down to personal preference people I really like this aesthetic like the last raid like i thought it looked like what what's the one raid it kind of looked like with the ships and the symbols and stuff kind of just looked like that shit but like oh it exploded and now you're, you're talking going, about you talking about vow yeah i don't think it looked kinda. like vow at all hmm. i mean there were definitely like you know little bits and pieces that like you know maybe came from Val like in terms of like the ships or whatever but I guess uh, I just like this because it looks almost like Last Wish and I think I just preferred that aesthetic more yeah. than no I thought the environment of, of Root of Nightmares was very intense
But this seems to be difficulty wise on the same par as the latest raid. That's why I didn't say that. Like that just seems like a, a yeah. given. All right, we have reached the first boss. So this is where we can actually get some uh we can get some real coaching in here. Um Christ. now do you want me to give you like any sort of a breakdown or you just want to try and figure it out? I'll just kind of figure it out. Let's okay. just see what we I'll run around. I'll notice that this guy's immune for a while and go, huh. Okay, he's immune. What do we do here? Yeah, Dado, I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever done this. I would, I'm so I'd be so surprised. I don't think I've ever done this. Big tether. That didn't tether who I wanted it to. Um, there we go, he's tethered. <coughs> okay, I killed There's the no ghost. Way I don't think I've done this. Like, raid report my ass, I don't think I've done this. He has like, done it according to dungeon report. Really? You've done it. God, I must have been for a Mr. Fruit video, could not remember anything. Yeah, oh, 100% it definitely was. Is it one clear? Someone One clear. Some Someone said one clear 21 weeks ago. Was I Which would imply that you've done it five months ago. Could not tell you. I don't know. Must. Okay, I'm killing the ghost. 20 minute well clear with fruit. Come. All right, I already have some notes for you. Boom. Uh, okay, he's not. Oh. Do I need to kill these things? Oh, I probably need to kill these things that like, cause it's, I think I already killed this one. Yeah. That's probably it. That seems kind of like a mechanic they'd like to do. Maybe I'm wrong though. I don't know. Maybe I do just kill it? I don't know, just kill it. Okay. Okay. Oh, things are spawning over there now. Oh, wait. What is this? Aha! Something marked. Petitioner's mark. Yeah, I'm not even going to try that. <laughs> Boom, I got two of them now. Can I take his shields down? No, I can't. We need a third one. What's up, bitch? Boom, three. Uh, can I do anything now? No. No. Aha. Oh, wow. Boom, four. Oh, I have the burden. Uh oh. Now what? We go invis. Oh, we extinguish it. Hell yeah. Oh, he's, oh. Okay, now we do damage. We did it, yay. Look at that, coach. But now I have, in the words of Coke, oh God, okay. It's almost like I know how to do this before from the one raid, but now I have no damage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fall off the map, aren't I? There's like no, a place, there, there is no, there's nowhere oh, okay. to fall off here. Okay, well, I get it now. Okay. I'm gonna die. that I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you either succeed or fail before i give you my notes okay appreciate you throwing the succeed in there 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, you, you did a phase. You got through it. So it's very, very good possibility that you get it done. You just have so much... Like, this, this dungeon is so outdated in terms of, like, you know, how strong we are nowadays. Oh, God, I'm gonna die, actually. I'm actually gonna die. I'm panicking. We're good. No longer have to panic. And 40 seconds is a good amount of time. Like, I don't need to necessarily super rush. Get, a get out of the bubble, man! Bubble boy. You know that was Jake Gyllenhaal? I can believe boy? that. Yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. Right, let's go extinguish that. Let's reload first. Good move. Boo! Boom, tether! Boom, big reload. Getting a little greedy here. Oh! Let's get out of here. All right. Now let's just see this through. Let's just see this through. Okay. Don't need to rush or anything. You know, music's getting a little bit more amped up. Get your heart rate going. But, you know, that's what the suits want to do. You know, the suits want you to fail, so you play this again. And then you go, man, I was so close to that. Let me buy silver because now I'm sad. But that's not going to happen. I don't know if that's exactly what they're going for, but... We'll keep, we'll keep moving. They pay millions of dollars, and guess what? <laughs> they know more than you, all right? That's I, true, Dado they do. said that in a video. All right, we might need to, we need, might need to leapfrog you to prophecy where this is going. Yeah! But I do have, I, st I still yeah, have some notes. Yeah, you stuck a Dr. Seuss book in my face, and I read that so fast, you're like, all right, maybe, uh, maybe some Clifford books, <laughs> maybe some, or Henry and Muggs. You like Henry and Muggs? I'm unfamiliar with Henry and Muggs. Oh, you Henry had me Muggs at Clifford. No, Henry and Muggs was sick because it was like, they were like kids books, but they looked like chapter books. So when you mm. read them during reading time, you looked like the smart kid that was able to read like Harry Potter and shit. Because as someone who was a bad reader, Henry and Muggs made it look like <laughs> as if I read chapter books, but in reality, it still had pictures in it. Gotcha. I'm not a big reader myself either. What? Your glasses would say differently. No, yeah, I know. Where'd this guy go? I know Danielle's a big reader. Oh, she loves it. See, I wish. Like, anytime I read, I just feel like, I don't know, like I'm reading for an assignment that's due next week, so I feel mm -hmm. rushed and bored and eh. Boom, boom. Get, get out of cover. What is this? Okay. We don't have any heavy, but that should be okay. It's the biggest tether of my life. Okay. Boom, baby. You handled that quite well. I do have some notes. Let me hear them. I do have some notes. Number one is that you need to stop using your power ammo like it's a primary. Yeah. Because I that will say I, I'm in a habit from like the latest raids because i felt i just got heavy drop for me the whole time in the mm -hmm. raid so people like oh just add clear you'll get heavy drop for you so i just i've been using that a lot so, yeah like fair. you i mean you even mentioned it on the first damage phase you're like all right we got to the damage phase i have literally no ammo and you just had to use your primary correct your primary is so strong it's unbelievably strong i get if you want to use it on uh if you want to use your power on like killing the wizards that's fine oh. um that thing is nice i have that um eh. but this you need cool. to be a bit more careful with okay. your power usage it's it's fine here but that's because this is six year old content if you yeah. try to pull that in some of these higher level dungeons 
you're going to get throttled. Yeah. And like, even in some instances there, I was like, like I nearly died. I was like, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Like, because mm-hmm. I didn't have my invis crutch or. Yeah. You have a lot of like survival tools, um, which is good. And, and you have good instincts on knowing how to use them. Um, so you did a very, very good job of staying alive. And that's a very good skill to have is like recognizing that when you're under pressure, you need to make sure you're getting yourself out, getting yourself to a, a, a safer situation. Um, I'm, I'm going to be comparing to Danielle a lot because Danielle is literally the only other person that I've coached through dungeons and she I, struggles <laughs> under pressure. She struggles under pressure. And, uh, but she also tends to put herself in situations where she's under more pressure, whereas you have a bit of a better grasp on kind of what's going on, which is good. Yeah. Um, so for now, again, it's just about building better habits. It's about not using the machine gun on the goblin that you can one shot with your pulse rifle. It's, it's about not burning a fusion shot on an okay. enemy that has 10% health left. Your primary is so ridiculously strong in these lower bits of content that you could pretty much use your primary only in a lot of it, and you'll be totally fine. Um, okay. My next note is that uh, do, do you know what to look for when it comes to using finishers? Like when you actually have access to using a finisher? Yeah, so I know it's like when they're when they have a little orb above their head. Yes. Um, yeah, and I and I like to use the little scythe one because it's cool. Yeah, no, I love that one too. Um, but you should be using your finisher to your advantage in order to save you ammo because a lot of enemies can be killed at like 10, 15, 20% health okay. um, with a finisher, which means you're not going to need to burn. You know, like you can basically trade, you know, 20 or 30 machine gun shots for just hitting a finisher instead. Um, okay. And over the long run, that's going to save you a lot of ammo. And you also do get a little bit of damage resistance while you're in a finisher. So if you are in a bind, it's not the worst idea to do a finisher. Even though you're locked to an animation, you do get a little bit of damage resistance. And I think you also have finisher, uh, or you have invis on finisher as part of your subclass. Um, or at least, it, like, hop into your fragment. Let me just see your fragments. I don't um, think I've changed this since you, like, made me the raid. That, like, okay. Like, so yeah, so you so that second one is finishers. Uh, finishers give invisibility. So you should be trying to use finishers on on bigger targets as much as you can to gain those benefits. On on like red bar enemies and stuff like that, I really wouldn't bother that much because like stuff in here is just so trash, and you're just gonna mow it all down no matter what, as long as you're not putting yourself in a dumb spot. Um, but for the bigger targets like those wizards, get in the habit of recognizing that they can be finished and using a finisher instead of trying to uh, use some fusion ammo or use some machine gun ammo. Because one of the biggest problems that I notice um, when I've done like gameplay review is that people love to waste power ammo or special ammo and then they never have it when they actually need it or they use it very, very inefficiently. And building that efficiency and knowing the best times and the best practices to use that ammo is going to make your combat experience that much smoother. As opposed to like running into a situation where you're like, oh, I'm at the boss and I just did this whole sequence that takes me several minutes to do. And all I can do is plink at it with with a Graviton Lance. Um, So for the rest of this run, basically until you get to... Uh, a boss damage situation. I only want you to use your primary. Only use primary until we get to the next. Only boss. using primary. Yeah. You know what? Just. I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do you one better. Okay. Where is it? Uh. Equip. Like I want. Well, here's here's the thing. Don't even do that because then, like now we we still want the temptation there. Right, because okay. you're not gonna unbind it when you're doing other content, right? Like you're still gonna have access True. to it, and it's okay to have access to it. But we want to only use it in like maybe it's a t- it's a intense situation. You're low health. You just got to try and kill some stuff. Um, like when you're doing higher level dungeons and stuff, 
you're not going to want to disable your your uh, your weapon. Um, so let's head forward. Other way, sorry. Oh, yeah, that way. And uh, a good chunk of this is going to be more platforming stuff, like not not too difficult stuff. And no, the I'm final nice boss here is. Uh, oh, that wasn't the final boss. No, no, no. Final boss here is pretty low difficulty. It's it's easily the shortest final boss that you're ever going to fight in a dungeon. Okay, by f who is this? I was the first to stand beside Mara Song. Oh, okay. <laughs> she answered her own question. Will be the last. But only if you prove yourself worthy. Oh, what am I Look at that oh. reticle control. Yeah, I was well. I was pretending I was you in Photoshop. Yeah, you tracing that out. For, yeah, yeah, cropping around for a thumbnail. This would be pretty difficult. <laughs> okay. I thought she was gonna go on longer, but she didn't. Uh, if you have the Wish Ender quest, like there's a bit more dialogue that happens, but uh, for now you're chilling. All right, while you keep going, uh, I'm gonna thank some subs real quick. I'll be right back. All right, cool. And I will do the same. All right. Uh, Jaquiz with the 16 months redacted with the 14 months. Thank you both very, very much for those teenage resubs. Uh, Mike Drummer with 76. And we got Benny 68. Big, big subs coming in. Thank you both very, very much. And Bedlam with 34 months of subbing. Thank you very much, Bedlam. Almost three years. Yeah, he's uh, he is doing a lot better... Uh, than I was anticipating, which is good, because that means we can kind of move along. Uh, I I kind of want to throw him into prophecy. <laughs> I, I think Pit would be. I don't know. I feel I feel like Pit is like almost as outdated, and I feel like. His gear is doing a decent amount of of the work. Rob still has, like, good gun skill and all that, but he's not being punished for things that I think he would be punished for in higher-level uh, content. So that's why I kind of want to throw into Prophecy, because even though Prophecy is 1600, it still, like, hurts. It hurts real bad. Chuck him in the deep end, make him do ghosts. Wonderful no, I'm not going to do that. Alright, I'm here. Don't forget about the secret chest on the right. You know, for some reason, I feel like we can we can do without the secret chest. I'm here. I think we'll be okay. All right, keep it up. So here, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to tell you yeah. what I just told in my chat, is that because this content's so outdated, um, while you are doing very, very well, I do yeah. think that the strength of your gear and your build and just like the fact that we are living in basically combat 5.0 world while this is in yes, like sir. combat 2.0 world um that your guns and your build and all that stuff are oh, doing a decent amount of work and so that's why i want to kind of throw you into prophecy i want to kind of skip over pit because i don't think pit would provide you with that challenge uh it that i would my brain yeah I, I i don't think i think you would just be able to just overpower it strictly through your gear and because you actually know how to shoot a gun at a target. Yeah. Uh, do, do you want me to use my primary this time too? Like, Yeah, through all this, just okay. keep using primary. When we get to Prophecy, you'll definitely want to change it up. 
Chamber of Suffering. Here's the thing about Chamber of Suffering. Is Ooh, that finisher. Yeah, good good finisher there. Oh, and a little exotic. exotic. The, little reward. Rewarded? What do we want from that? Uh, I have no idea. I don't really know what I have and what I don't need. Or... Chamber of Suffering is... What, what, wait, what? Oh, okay, we're good. Good save. Is fine, but I just don't want to take 20 minutes just to get to the Chamber of Suffering. So that's why I think we're going to skip over it. Because, like, Prophecy, the first boss, it's right there. Like, it's a two-minute little dinky section before that, and then you're right to the first boss. And I, like I, I don't want it. Like, that was part of the reason why I was a little apprehensive with Shattered Throne. It's just, like, the first part is, like, 10, 15 minutes of just, like, kind of running around. And then another five to ten minutes of platforming. And then you finally get to a boss. Normally, I would just run past these, but, you know, we're trying to get into good habits here. Exactly. We're, we're building good habits. So, you know, I want to be like, go leper to go. You need very good habits. And even when you do have very good habits, like sometimes in a GM, stuff's just going to mess you up. And, Does uh, leopard have good habits? Leopard has very look. You don't get to solo all these GMs without good habits. But then, why does it take him so long to do it? To do is each GM, hard? it's it, yeah. You have to play. A lot of solo GM stuff is about patience. I'll go. Okay, wait. Can I be honest? Okay, so I'll go into Leopard streams. He'll be soloing in or something, mm -hmm. and he'll be like this, right? Yep. That's my impression of Leopard doing a GM. Your impression would be even better if you said right there as that Shadow Thrall came up to you. Uh, if you said, I'm invisible! How do you see me, bro? <laughs> um, but otherwise, that was really good. Yeah, it's just... Backseat gamer. It's, it's a lot of... GMs are like a lot of patience. Picking your spots. It's, it's knowing when you can and can't attack. And in GMs, when everything can basically kill you in one shot, um, you have to play very, very, very patiently. Uh, guessing I go like this way. Oh yeah, right there. That yeah. And also, like, have you noticed how strong the Graviton Lance is? Like, have you really felt the urge to be like, I'm going to break out my machine no. gun for this Hobgoblin? Like, no. When you pick good primary weapons, they do so much more heavy lifting than you than you really think. And now, like, you have a bunch of ammo for the boss because there's no rally flags in here. That's another reason kind of why I wanted to uh, have you just stay on the primaries to build up your heavy reserves. Um So yeah, let this thing, let this thing do a lot of the work. Let's be smarter about our weapon choices. You know, generally, if it's red, we want the primary. If it's orange, maybe yellow, we want to use the, uh, the special. If it's a boss, if it's a big target, an emergency target, that's when we break out the... Uh... All right, we're just going right into it, huh? Yeah. Boom, big tether. They're all tethered. Oh, okay. Oh, nope. Primary. There we go. Nice. See, look, and look how much AoE this thing does. Like, it's already doing so much work. You killed one Scion, the rest of them died. I'm confused. Oh, this guy's coming after me. Oh, because I probably got him to sit on the threshold or something. Good lord. Oh, let's use this in this time to reload. You know, oh, yeah, you're, you're perfectly safe here. Let's use the... Let, never waste Ooh. any seconds. I should go in when he dies. No, I guess not. 
Oh. We're alive. Thanks, good armor. Now I'm assuming I can hurt you? Yeah! Pick up the other balls on the ground. You'll do even more damage. Oh, there's balls on the ground. There's one more behind you. What? Uh, I might have despawned already. I didn't realize there are these balls on the ground, man. Looking like a fool. Oh. Not this. Wait, what? Doing the crystal. What does this mean? Oh. You know my dad? Well, I'm gonna die, I think. Ooh. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. So there were crystals that I could explode. That means something. It does mean something. But. If you do enough damage to the boss, aka kill the boss in one cycle, you won't even need to worry about them. But. Considering we have no rally flags and you are completely out of power ammo, we're gonna need Wait, there's to. There's no uh, rally flags in here. There's no. This is pre rally flags. Really. Yep. And they just Dang. haven't bothered to to put them in. So we might need to do a little bit of farming for some ammo here. Got some. Um, All right, we're off to a good so start. So with these dudes, I want you to focus on using your fusion rifle. To kill them as opposed to your okay. power ammo. because if you hang on to enough power ammo and you get all three upgrades you hit the boss with a tether i don't know you might be able to one cycle it also something i would focus on is trying to kill all these dudes at the same time or close to the same time so you can get the orbs like maximize your orb potential. exactly So that's the case. We're like we're like in no immediate danger, you know. Like no, you're you're not in any sort of crazy danger right now. No. Now, when you blow their helmets off, then yeah, you're in a little bit more danger. But while they still have their helmets on, you're. I mean, look how slow they go. You're fine. Uh oh. I am now in danger. Oh, he's running it over there. They have a shield. All right, that's okay. This is where we want to kill the crystals. Okay. Good move. Hello? Why am I reloading? All right. New wave of enemies. Chance to get some more ammo. Let's clear them out. Oh my God. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm dead. No, we're not. We're alive. Good move. Let me go with this. I'm spamming it. <laughs> All right, take this time. Reload. Let's get a reload. No. Oh. I'm seeing a lot of ammo on the ground. While you're in Viz, go get that ammo. Let's get that ammo. Play it safe. We're stocked <laughs> up. Let's go to town. I'm going to town. Oh my lord. You're good. Reload, reload. Keep it up, keep it up. I'm going. Oh. Just a little oh, bit more, a little is... bit more. Oh. That's what's up. Oh. Good moves. Christ. I thought you would be able to shoot me in my tether. What's up with that? You're Rob, my it's a boss. You shoot me in that. Yeah, but like, come on. You're in my tether. <laughs> Bosses don't get suppressed. Come on, bro. All right. Woo. I'm ready. I think I'm ready to throw you. Uh, you know, that was the kiddie pool. I don't want to throw you in the deep end yet, but we are going to at least go into the adult pool. We're going to go tread water. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, we're gonna take you to prophecy. 
prophecy. Do you have a decent sword? Ooh. So, not really. Do you right, have well, a town. sword? Yeah, I have a sword. Okay. No, Rob does not have the lament. I don't have lament. I'm I'm uh, well I could I buy it? I have a cipher. Does that mean I can get it? I'm pretty sure it's from a quest. Uh oh. Um, I don't know. I don't think it takes super long to get. I mean, we could go get it. It's going to be a lot better than anything else that we try to use. Yeah, so, I mean. Would it have to be a heavy sword? Uh, there's no other kind, so yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I think, I think we should go get you the lament. Oh, because uh, boom. Razor's Edge. That is dog. Um, yeah, let's go get you Little Mint. Because it's going to be way better boom. to, like, learn. Nazradin. That is actually not too bad, but we're still going to get you Little Mint. Okay. Um, it's just going to be a better idea because, like, it's so good for the encounter. Like, it's so overwhelmingly better than everything else that we should go get it. Um, okay. I am so literally about to bring up my own video because <laughs> Dado lament. Um, because I don't remember how to get it. Do you do that often? Not very often, no. Oh, let's see what I get for my exotic. Any guesses? Um, I'm gonna say I think you're gonna get another Jer Falcon. I'm guessing, uh, Stompies. Wonderful day, guys. Boom. Star Eaters. It was boots. Checking now. Uh. Transfer. Is that good? A lot of recovery. Um. Yeah, they're all right. Okay. I'll take that. So the first thing is banshee but going i don't banshee. know if banshee's gonna have it let's see I le just talk to man let's see what banshee has for you hi banshee all right nothing let's go let's go to your quests let's see quests. what you have in quests um turn the page okay uh so now we're gonna go to your kiosk your quest kiosk and see if it's the theirs. Helm. No, 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 not the helm. Oh, where is that? Go to the vault. Or sorry, not the vault, the postmaster. Oh, it's that little screen that's like, right? Or Mega left. Oh, right here. Uh, which one? Exotics and Legacy? Exotics and Legacy. Oh, baby. There's your wish ender. That's something to work on. Um, Lost Lament. Go back. Oh, boom. Boom. Get that one. Locate Exos found. All right. I'm going to tell you where they are. Let's go to... Uh, let's go boom. to Europa. Tracking. That's Neptune. All right. Do we want to spawn top, bottom? Uh, no, Karen's Crossing. Karen's Crossing. One of eleven. It doesn't take this long. My video on how to get the lament and cloud strike is less than ten minutes. Day, Damn, you should have stretched it out to ten. Trust. There's a lot of things I should have done back then. <laughs> I left a lot of money on the table. Wonderful day, guardian. But I, you got your respect. Kind of. Beef. Have a good one. All right. As soon as you land, we're gonna go off to the uh, the left. Also, Dado, I forgot to tell you that mm. the transmog I have 
uh, forced me to buy the first silver I think I've ever bought ever. It forced you to buy it. Well, no, like my chat was saying that there was a good shader that would work with the with what I was doing, and it worked perfectly, so I bought silver. Rob, I'm gonna let you know a little something. You have spent more silver on cosmetics in Destiny than I have. Really? Yeah. You don't turn have around. this shader then? Which shader? What is it? Uh, ego. Ego man Malign. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I do, but if you had to, if it was only available through silver, then I haven't. Wow. I didn't know you were so free to play. I expected an elitist like you would just buy all the silver and buy all nope. the things. I have not spent any silver on cosmetics in this game. All right, let's turn around. Um, what? We are going to go to... Actually, you know what's going to be easier? Is if I do this. What are you throwing down for me? Oh, no way. Sensei yeah. is actually with me. I'll just join your effing team and show you where to go. <laughs> That is pretty big five head. Whoever came up with that idea is pretty smart. All right, so you should have one over here. Level 11, whoa. Um, I, th I wanna say it's on top of this right here. Is Levin max? Yeah. Do you like the Guardian rank? Um, I have my gripes with it. I just think they could show like a way cooler or bigger number or something. I don't know. Bigger numbers just look, look cooler. I could be wrong though. I don't know. Uh, do you have a dead XO right here? Yeah, I picked it up. Okay. Let's get another one because I'm guessing you probably have zero. What's up um, with this transmog? Is this a transmog or just a... Oh, no, I don't have the right stuff on right now. Oh, okay, I was like, I don't like the legs, but I like everything else. Yeah, yeah, hang on. There you go, how Whoa. about that? That's cool. I'm a fan. All right, uh, we can fast travel up to Eventide Ruins, which is north. You know, Dad, that's so good. It, it probably could win the competition. Here's the thing, I don't want to win the competition because I've already won the competition. And if I win the competition again, people are going to be mad. Come on, man, do it for the culture. Uh, I'm at the wrong one. Took a wrong turn on Albuquerque. Ugly ass fashion. I feel like the only people who tell me that I have ugly ass fashion are the kind of people to wear all black shaders and think they look awesome. Yeah, like that's my thing. Like, I don't know. Like, I think it's cool when you use four different type of shaders and like know the same armor sets. That's what it's all about. What am I looking for? Where is it? Uh, it is, I think in the corner here. Is it somewhere like here-ish? <laughs> okay. Uh, like oh, yeah, here, here. like somewhere over here. Sorry, he was teabagging and partying. Yeah, no, I saw. Um, okay. Sorry, dude. Man of the people, you know. No, I, I, I totally get it. You know, I make Mr. I make videos of Mr. Fruit. Ever heard of him? Oh, I've heard. Your tail. Mr. Fruit. All right, um, we're going, we're going this way. Oh, Dado, so I forgot mm. to mention. So my dad has these unopened uh, soccer card packs from like 1980s, like indoor soccer league that like somebody played in for like a season. So you can get like a, some Pele card in there. That's like some chase card, I guess. And there's like, he has like 200 unopened them, uh, unopened packs. Should I bring them to the unopening thing? 
Uh, I, if there's something cool to get, screw it, dude. Why like not? I think there's like a Pele card or something like that. I'll have to look, but he was like telling me. Yeah, about let it. me know. Yeah, whatever you want to bring, bring it. All right, we're close. I lost you. Oh, there you are. I know who Pele is. I know some sports. Right, where is this? This is... Dado, Dado has ball knowledge. Dado knows ball. Yeah, a little bit. No, no, more ball than he likes to say. Um... Trying to like get a, a visual on it here. Get the hell out of here. Um, it looks like it's over here. See something over here? Uh, oh ground. yeah. Love Boom, that. new step. Locate the giant exo hidden in the exo facility. Aha, okay, so we are going to we are going to uh, uh, Bray Exoscience, so go back to Karen's Crossing landing zone. Copy that. And we're going to see Clovis. It's Doing LFG today, and we were all on Jesus. Strand Titan Quicksilver Forbearance Machine Gun. <laughs> Change the meta. Uh, currently outside right now, it's 102. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I think it was hotter than that at some point. Look, I didn't change the meta. I just simply revealed it to you. Rob does not live in Arizona, no. No, I live in Colorado. Like, it's... Dude, it's I'm just getting... seeing, like... 80s here like, and toasty, peaked, and I'm like, peaked ugh. at like 102 today. Woof. Right now, I probably like mid 80s. Cause now it's like five o'clock. Yeah. How hard is Pit of Heresy? Dungeon is solo. Never didn't want to get Zeno. Soloing Zeno is it's a little tough. It's a little tough. Um, but have you sold Heresy, all of them? Yeah, I have. Okay. Um, Pit of Heresy, you know, it's not too bad, but soloing that particular boss is, you know, it's it's not the easiest thing in the world. Oh, this is the Wade. This is the raid, yes. Well, not this exactly is, the raid, but... This is the raid me, you, uh, Danielle, and Jess did. It is a deep stone, yeah. We did that one raid and we were like, well, that was a raid. <laughs> that was something. It, it certainly was something. It was just like two, like, I don't know, because like Jez, Danielle, and I do content together. And it's like whenever we're doing a raid, we usually take the lead. And then when you guys are doing content together, you all take the lead. So it was two groups that are both like lead groups trying to all make their own joke. It was just so chaotic. Chaotic evil. Oh yeah, then there's like that weird giant attack on Titan thing down here. Mm-hmm. You don't watch anime, do you, Dada? Weaves out. Nah. The only anime that I've ever really watched was uh, in high school, and that was mainly just by proxy because my friends I really like to watch it. I was really waiting for it. Nope. Like. <laughs> nope. My uh, my high school friends really like to watch, and uh, so I only watched because when we would hang out, they would watch it. And I was so like, by proxy, all right. Just, all right, I'm, I'm in this. Yeah. Almost kind of like with Sydney in the Bachelorette. Like I'm in this. Like. Yeah, you're you're in it because she's in it. But like I like The Bachelor. The Bachelor's way more entertaining. What what makes The Bachelor more entertaining than The Bachelorette? Because I, I hate watching a bunch of like a group of dudes. Uh like the group of dudes drama is not the same as like girl drama. 
Like, mm -hmm. girl, girl drama is way more fun and entertaining to watch than, like, guys being like, Alan was going on a date with Rebecca, and I'm pissed about it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just think it's way more entertaining. What's girl stuff. drama, though? Oh, like, they'll yell, throw things, like, like... I mean, the guys do a little bit of backstabbing actually more than the girls do. The girls mm -hmm. are way more more upfront in, in their face about it. And I always feel like the girls always have like a super evil villain that like the show keeps on for a good amount of time and then they finally like eliminate them. Like the last season had a super like, I think what, heel is what they call it or not baby face. Yeah. But yeah, big fan of The Bachelor. All right. Attack on Titan, man. What does the video say to do next? Uh, did you get the next quest up? Uh, they're talking right now. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be Vex kills. Well, I gotta do something quick. Okay, it's not too bad, but it's definitely a little bit longer than, than 15 minutes. In the meantime, refrain from further destroying my life's work. Um, and then I think I talked to him again. A Adris Suckle. I'm probably messing that name up really bad. And Grande Sal and Adam's Era. Oh, Thank wait, you what? all very much for the new now subs. It's doing it. it had me talk to him twice. It must have been like some story thing I had or something. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, Thank you all very much for the new subs. We got Lazy Elf with three. Unak with four and Armada with six. Thank you all very much for those uh, short term resubs. All right. Same to you. Uh, hold, please. Uh, we have Lancelot Archer with nine, Discharged Shadow with 11 months. Thank you both. Coming up right, on a year Bex there. Defeated with sword. Okay, I need to go get a sword. Yeah, you can just pull that pull that random sword out of the vault. And uh, how many Vex kills is it? I'm guessing it's like 100. It's 100 Vex kills with a sword? Yes. Jesus. All right. Um. Okay. Hopefully we can do that in uh, in a law sector. I got the caretaker on, baby. Does it have to be on on Europa? Um. Prove yourself uh, by killing uh, across Europa. Yes, it does. Okay. So we are going to be visiting the Perdition Law Sector, but the first thing... Well, actually, you might be able to just get kills with the Sword Hilt, and that might count, too. I think it does. Um, so let's go back to Karen's Crossing. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, hopefully it counts in law sectors. I, I would imagine that it would. It's too bad this public event is probably not the Vex one. Wonderful day, uh, more this port. Is the public event in the asteroid area? Uh, I don't know if that's a if that's a Vex one. I think that's a different one. Morikport, 39 months. Shaitan, 28. We got JB Train, 46. Thank you all very much for the for the resubs there. We got PMH with 16 months of subbing. Teenage sub. And we have Vulgar Menace. Dropping 20 gifted? 
Is that a first time? No, it's not even close to a first time gift. 140 total. Jesus. Thank you very, very much. A vulgar menace. 20 gifted just out of nowhere. Entire hunt mission you can run that will get you kills and get you a chance to get Cloud Strike. Wonderful day, Guardian. Mm -hmm. Alright, go kill everything with a sword. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Vulgar Menace. If you just got to give this sub from Vulgar Menace, uh, be sure to thank them. Because that was very generous of you. Very generous. Thank you very, very much for doing that. Very, very generous. I'm going... Yeah, literally just hilt these fools. After this is cleared out, let's make sure that those kills are actually counting. Yeah. Um. What am I doing? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. I have 14. Wonderful. Just tank for you. <laughs> Thanks for taking aggro. Got you. Wonderful day, Guardian. Uh, we also have Dr. Seaward, nine months. Thank you very much for the nine months of subbing. Uh, the Arrow Shirt Man with three and a half years, 42 months. Thank you very, very much for the 42. We got a default setting, two and a half years, 30 months. Thank you very much. I forgot what default I was setting. doing this last sector for, but I remember doing this one. I think I was grinding for like star eater skills or something to drop. Okay. I remember we want we want sword. Yeah, I was trying to just kill the wyvern. Okay. I'll get the boss weak for you. All right, boss is one hit. there be a YouTube video coaching highlights? Uh, I think maybe if prophecy is a bit more of a struggle than, than maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It's a lot, lot to dig through. Yeah, we don't have lament. And I really don't want to do prophecy without Rob having lament because it's just going to make it like so much easier. So we unfortunately have to do a little detour here, but it's okay. Uh, Darnatello with a primer. Thanks very much. Dropping the prime sub here. Thanks for priming. All right, right back in. I'm guessing you should have around 30, 40 kills right now. Uh, let me check. 47. 47, okay. How's he not have lament? <laughs> Look, man. This was this was probably around the point where, you know, a lot of people just kind of started playing for content and not necessarily like playing I'm the game as hobby. As a hobby. So if you don't bother to go do these things and you don't ever need the lament for something, then you're not going to go get it. Yeah, un unpowered sword kills do count. He's literally been doing it this whole time. You might get in that little Hydra week. Got you. That'd be sick. 
Unfortunately, it does teleport away, but it's it's weak for now. Oh, now I actually have sword ammo. Okay, nice. Mr. Pop with 11 months. Thank you very much for the 11. Welcome back. If you put on two specials, you get more heavy. Uh, you would if you ended up actually using your green ammo. If you're using power and you're using double special, you're not really gonna get that many power drops. So it's all right. I mean, he's just helping everything to death in one hit anyway, so. <coughs> Easy. What encounters lament for? First, yeah, first encounter. But it also has like some other, other bosses where it might be usable. So it's just something to, just something that's better to go get right now versus trying to, you know, force something else that's just not as good. I mean, I guess because I'd rather go in with the highest level equipment that we can do. And yeah, and then he'll also just have the lament now. Gotta be close, surely. Oh, that's my bad. I definitely just killed a bunch of things. I did see that. We may not have it now. Oh, you just got it. That's no, you're good. You got it. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Hoggies. All right, what's next? Um, I was like, I don't know. You tell me. Um, reclaiming Europa completed. Empire's Fall completed. So acquire and complete the listed quests from Zavala to prove yourself and Clovis. So I need to do three quests. You need to do three quests. Hang on. Let me see. Bring up your... Oh, my God. Huh. Is that not normally in that? Okay. No, I mean, I don't know if I just like skip a skip a thing cuz like I have or did they add challenge. This? Maybe I just had all these done already? I don't know. Let's um we could do it for another time if you want, like uh we could do like homework or something. That this seems like long. I just don't remember it being like that long, but yeah, we might have to. Just for That's the time fine with being. Me. Um, and it doesn't even have to be like that long in between homework. Like I could literally have this done like by like whatever. Yeah, I'd say I'd say let's make this homework because these are like I mean, all those are like not too bad, but it's just like another thirty minutes, okay. and then like some stuff after that. So maybe we just go in to prophecy anyway and just kind of see. You can just kind of get a, a a vibe for uh. Can I ask why the sword is so important? Like it's because it's going to be the main way that you're going to be killing the boss in uh, okay. in in prophecy, the first boss anyway. Um, it's just like the the best thing to use. Okay. So let's hop into prophecy. I'm gonna jump out of your group here. Yeah. And let's grab. Uh, you had a pretty good sword. Let me let me just see. Uh, can you can you uh, bring up dim? Yeah. You had that like Nas Redden, Nas Redden. Okay, okay, can you see Dim? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, so you said this was ass. I had this. So just just go up to the search bar and, and, and type in sword. Okay, sword. 
Boom. Uh, I have Black Talons or Heart Shadows, whatever these are. Yeah, no, we're not going to use that. Satch. Um, all right, go, go back up to the search bar and do is colon sword. I don't know why. I just Is colon sword. Uh, no space. Oh. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, where is that? I think it was a seventeen eighty four. That thing's also what? good. Yeah, just grab, just grab the falling guillotine. There you go. All right. Oh, I have this. This is. Uh -oh. No, it's a warlock sword. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go back to your gameplay. Okay. All right. Can you see? I can see, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, okay. we're going to throw on the Graviton. Let's also throw on the Sword. And let's go to Prophecy. Which is going to be in the Legends tab. Wonderful day, Guardian. While you're flying in, I'm going to check in on Brim. Uh, while I'm flying in, I'm going to go say hi to Sid. I think she's got home. A hunter and a dredgen ask a question. What is the darkness? Our answer lies before you. Leave mercy behind. Oh my god, that was so such a big stretch for him. Bless you. Big stretch. Oh, oh that a big stretch. Bye, Brim. Arrow shirt, man. Look, that that's not the dynamic between me and Rob. You know what I mean? That's not the dynamic that we have. We have a different dynamic. Um, Dunsky with 54. Hopefully you get to say hello at GCX once again. Don't think I have any Gengar cards. That's all good. It's all good. Uh, thank you very much. 54 months. We got Cactus Plant with 40. Months of subbing and die lot can't jump with the 10 months. Thank you both very much for the resubs. Yeah, we'll get to Lucent Blade in uh, in a moment here. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll handle all that when we I get there. I have returned. All right. Let's head forward. Part of me wants to just, like, join on you to just get you through this thing a little bit faster. Because I don't know if you're going to be soloing this whole thing today. But... No, we never know. Oh, okay. So this is the the shadows. Man. Yes. And the reason I also like prophecy is because stuff still actually hurts here. It's sixteen hundred, so like all your stuff's still gonna work fine, but things actually still hurt pretty badly here. Like things can kill you. Oh, well, I forgot I saw the sword. Nope, use my primary. Yep. And having a sword on is going to make it so you can't really uh, abuse your abuse your ammo situation here. All right, we got three light. Need three more. Got to uh, make sure you're in that light there. There you go. Nicely done. Oh, 
above it. And then we go to this full screen, one. What do you mean? We are full screen. This is full screen Discord. This is as full screen as it gets. Yeah, and let me know if the gameplay is like bad or like if it's. No, you're killing it right now. Okay, it's not looking. No, I just mean like in the sense of like. No, I know, I know so. what you mean. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, uh, I just wanted to look halfway decent. I guess I can actually just shoot it from here. What am I doing? Guys, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start Rob's journey with with cheesing something. Okay. Yeah, like, do you guys just say that's a dado? Like, you know how that's gonna go. You can hide the. How do you hide down here then? How do you do that? I don't know, whatever. Here, hang on. There you go. Oh! Wow, I just got absolutely owned. I'm this guy up now. He just embarrassed me. Finisher, nice. All right, so for this first kind of like attempt, I'm, I'm gonna have you kind of feel it out, suss it out. And then, okay. depend, uh, depending on how much you're struggling or not, I'm gonna do some more like live coaching. So it's gonna be like, go over here, do this, jump off this, blah, 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 blah. Um, so you can kind of see like what I'm, what I'm feeling you should be doing in, in real time. Okay. Lord. Yeah, right now just, hey, just take it easy. Take out some of these thrall here. Oh, why is it light? Boo. Woo. Let's, let's regen. Let's regen our health. Let's wait a sec. You got very slow regen right now. You got very slow. Mid -max. Make sure you don't go. Uh... There you go. I'm in the dark. We're good. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot of dark in here. No. I thought that might be. That little sliver. Yeah, you're going to have to play this angle here. Here, here's where you can go fusion. Let's go fusion. Oh my oh, god. Christ. Woo! All right, stay hidden, stay hidden. There we go. We're not gonna get this in time. Oh. Oh. Like, eh. Okay, oh, that counted. That counted. Yeah, but I mean, we restart anyways. All right, we can fusion. Yeah, let's fusion. I want you to start aiming down sights more with with your fusion. Okay, why is that? Um, when you hip fire certain guns, you're not doing as much damage as you could be doing because of the hip fire. Like a lot of primary weapons, if you hip fire them, you won't be doing as much damage versus aiming down sights. Okay. And also in general, it's just gonna make you a little more accurate. All right. First boss, right away. This is why I kinda wanted to do prophecy first, cause like, Pit is 30 minutes of, of getting to a boss. Yeah. All right. So hold up. Let's make sure we rally. Good. Okay. Smaller arena. You can yeah. fall off. A lot more aggro. A lot more fire. A lot more stuff going on in general. Do you want me to give you okay. like a rundown of this encounter? No, I think I remember. It's like a, it's like a dude and then you got to... He has like a shield to it, and then you gotta take all the uh, white ones away if it's like a white shield, all the black ones away if it's a black one. Yeah. And, and then you just DPS them when the shield's down. Yep. All right, you got it. Yeah. But, okay. So I want to see. Let's. See, I want to see how you handle a little bit more intense combat. I think Graviton is again gonna really be able to do some heavy lifting here, but it gets pretty tense. Oh! Already almost jumped off. 
What's his shield? It doesn't matter. So, his shield doesn't matter, yeah. He just has an immunity oh, shield. Okay. This is all, like, collecting moats and stuff. Okay. Oh, I could finish him. He's bad. Oh, no. we're good. Ooh, we're good. Okay. There we go. Nice, nice. New wave. Nom 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 nom. Please be in the good. light. Nice. Oh, let's just run off the map. You're good. You're good. One dark and one light left. Yep. Please don't. Oh, dang it. That was the wrong one. So, oh, I dropped the thing? No, nah, unfortunately, oh, when you use yeah, your class yeah, yeah. ability, it, the moat drops and it disappears. Fortunately, my crutch cannot help me here. Well, it can. You just have to do it preemptively. Oh, I got it. Ooh. There we go. Good moats. Yeah. Oh, I just realized the shadows change. I like, guess that'd be interesting. I love how you keep going over that power ammo brick, even though you still have full power ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Uh, at some point, I'll pick it up, right? Yeah, eventually. After probably after a damage phase. Your instincts are already so much better with like the your ammo choices, your weapon choices. I think that is partly because that you have a sword equipped. Ooh. Switch the sword and it's swipe. Over. Switch the sword and swipe. Oh, we're good. Okay, so that's kind of like the, the hidden tags. Yeah. Sword, swipe. Okay. When it hits the fan, sword, swipe. Yeah. Got light modes. Uh-oh, was that close enough? I'm there we sure go. It was. And then what? A sword, I'm guessing? Go to town. Do so I right click, left Le click? Left, left click until your meter's full, now right click. Left click, keep going, keep going. And right click. There we go. Now here you gotta kill some goblins because they're gonna make him immune. Oh. But you, you can just, just, just sword swipe him, sword swipe him. Swords oh, is okay swords. here, swords okay here. And then anytime the boss is not immune, go to town on the boss. Okay. Keep it going. All right, uh, switch to uh, switch to your fusion. Try and do a little more damage if you can. All right, you're out. You're out. Let's get to safety. Out of there. All right, not bad. Not bad. You're handling this very, very well. We might even have to click it up again. We'll see. Yeah, I am what they call a star guardian. I've greatly underestimated. After this, I think we go to we go to Lost Sector World. God. Some legend lost sectors. Oh god. Where are the things? Okay, so there's one light, two dark. Let's not forget about that aim down sights. Oh. oh, we're so dead. No, we're not. We're good. Nope, we're oh. dead. Just got a little overzealous there. Yeah, but, I not dude, that first damage that. phase, like, I 
I have almost no notes. Like, your ammo usage was really good. You weren't trying to bird sword ammo in, in like, dumb ways or whatever. Good fusion use. I think I just want to see a little more aim down sights with a fusion. Um, but otherwise, your weapon usage was solid. Good instincts on the defense. I got, I got nothing. And we're not even using the Lament right now. What, Lament goes crazy? Lament goes a little bit crazier, yeah. And then you even have that good save too, prevent yourself from getting booped off the map. I feel like you're also naturally finding kind of like these safety areas. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh, we're in trouble here. How can they see you're me? Good? I'm invisible. <laughs> How was that? All right, Leopard. That was good. That was good. But I, you weren't invisible quite yet, so. Oh. We're in trouble here. Finish. Nice. Good finish. Love that finish. Good instincts there again. Oh, almost left. No, you're good. You're good. What was the last one? Light, I think? Oh, light. And you got two ones. more. Yeah, yeah. More aim down sight with this fusion. That's my only thing. Good clear. Good clear. Oh. Hey, oh. You're good. You're good. Yeah. I respect the finish. I'll wait for a new wave to come in. Aim down sight. Aim down sight. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess when you're that close, it doesn't really matter that much, but let's build build more habits. Oh, my God. Hi. Oh, my Lord. I'm just jumping high now at this point. Oh, my Tough. Lord. Yeah. When you don't have that in Viz, you really... I panic. I you panic. struggle. It is a struggle. I think the number one thing I think you could do there is if you have your smoke up to immediately find whatever's hitting you the hardest and smoke them. Okay. And then keep running. There are a couple of places here. You've already kind of found one of them um, where it is, uh, it's pretty safe. And those yeah. are the places that you really want to get to because a lot of enemies are not, I'm pretty much none of the enemies are gonna follow you. you sword swipe, sword swipe. Though. Nice move. Um, oh. A lot of the enemies are not gonna follow you to these safety spots. And another one is like around this little, uh, that thing to your left right there. Yeah, right here. So like here, here's a safe zone and then to your right is like another one. So like behind that, that like kind of little statue thing right there. My lord. Right behind here is another kind of safety zone. Yeah. Because stuff is not going to walk towards you here. Like, maybe you'll have the boss on occasion. But, like, nothing's going to really run up on you unless it's been aggroed on you for, like, a really long time. Good clears. Good clears. All right. Let's, hey, let's just take a sec. Let's take a sec. Re again, oh. you have low recovery. We don't want to get too overzealous. We don't have devour up. Let's make sure our health is regenerated. Let's not go in with low HP. Cool. You got all the time in the world here. Give yourself a chance to recover. Good moves. We got knights coming in. All right, let's do a little uh, little reload here. Aim down sight. Aim down sight. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. All right, take a sec. It's okay. It's okay. We don't. We don't got to be moving at a million miles an hour, you know. If I'm you lose my moats, no, you'll be all right. If and hey, if you lose your moats, that's okay. That's no big. We can get more. Oh my lord, Christ, dude, okay. these dudes hurt. Yeah, they do. They okay. hurt. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Um, we could also put you on the reload dodge as opposed to the get your melee back dodge. I don't know if you have a preference. Uh, not really. Okay. 
Aim that down sight, aim down sight. Yeah. There we go. Get away from me. In the dark, good, good, nice. Nom 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 nom. Oh, make it. Nice. All right, recovery, recovery period. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're killing some, we're killing some, uh, some scions here, giving ourselves a chance to regenerate our health. Oh, why did I do that? That was, I was a big gonna say, that was a bit, that was a bit overzealous, but we big should be finger. able to get it back. Good aim down sight. Love that. Yes. How am I in light? But whatever. I don't know. Who cares? Nom, 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 nom. Nice. Good moves, good moves. Oh, I thought the knight would be here. So the knights only respawn when there's none alive. If you leave one alive, um, oh. they will not respawn, which is good for like when these scion waves show up as opposed to like having three knights spraying fire at you while you're trying to kill scions now you only have one good aim good nice one more one more doing great Oh no! Run! Hey, good. Hey, good instincts there. Turn around, smoke. Get defensive. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah. Start building. Start building up that sword habit. It's gonna be. It's gonna treat you really, really well. To have that instinct of like, oh, I'm falling off the map. No big. I'm just gonna switch to my sword. All right, unfortunately we don't have a tether, but we still gotta go to town on the boss. So okay. let's go. Generally speaking, you do about eight uh, left swing, or uh, left clicks into one right click. But just keep eyes on your meter. Oh. All right, let's take out these goblins. Yep, keep, keep smacking them, keep smacking them. You got devour now, you can just go to town. Quiver, let's hit it. Oh. Go, slice, slice, slice. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. One more spin, one more spin. Nice. All right, fusion, yeah, anything you got. Fusion, fusion, fusion. We might start delaying that tether. Look at that, half damage. Only the slightest okay. bit scuffed, like next one is gonna be real nice. And honestly, I think the way that that we ended up doing it, where you quiver uh, halfway into it to kill all the goblins is probably the better play anyway. Great aim down sight. Let's take a sec to recover, recovery. Maybe not, maybe not right there. <laughs> nice. Pick up these moats. These moats stay on the ground longer than you think. Good. All right, the only thing that we want to make sure we do before we finish all four of those is just make sure we got full power. I know I saw a brick basically, I'd say 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock yeah. from where you are right now. Uh, but otherwise, that's the only thing we want. Maybe make sure we have another super, but otherwise you're doing just fine. I think it was like right down here or something. Yeah, right there. Nice. And you're basically full. Okay, so they spawn in the dark. So let's do a dark. Okay, we got that invis. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Put that in y'all.
Let's get into our safe spot. Nice. Alright, so what do we have? Uh, two lights? Two lights. Yeah, the movement is great right now. Your positioning, the way you keep rotating out of this fire is, is really, really good. Okay, now we can do it. Oh, no, I was reloading. Let's yeah, play a little careful. Okay. Hiding behind the wall here. He's going to chase you down. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> good movement. Good movement. Top rope. I'll grab these. No, just a solo. It's Rob's first time doing a solo. Ah! All right. Where the heck? Got 15 hey, seconds. Oh, he's super weak already. Okay, cool. Nice. Good dodge first. Good dodge first. All right, we got new science coming in. Oh. Yeah, let's get to, let's get to cover here. Let's get to cover here. Give them all a sec to kind of group up here. Nice. <laughs> Get owned, idiots. By my Graviton Lance that I just watched in Data's video. Oh, premium nade right there. You're in Viz, you're good, okay. you're good. Don't get nervous. Oh, where's the last one? All right, let's get to safety just for a sec. Oh. And now, let's get in there. Oh, where is he? Good. Spin move, nice. All right, if you want to quiv, let's do it. Spin move, spin move. Nice, big damage. If the boss is not immune, just keep working the boss. Oh. All right, back to boss, back to boss, back to boss. Oh. Let's get one more spin move in there. Close, close. All right, hey, we just ah. gotta, we just gotta get back to a damage phase, and that's it. Yeah. Why no devour? He has devour. Procking it. That's another story. Right, so two lights and two darks. I can do that. Big. Optimal. All right, this is this is get to safety time. Woo that devour saving your ass. I think that's one thing I need to work on too when I like waste my like dash when I could have just like used my devour invis instead. Oh. You're good. Keep moving. Keep moving. Best thing you can do is keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's not lose it here. Ah. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Watch this night. All right. Let's regen. Let's regen. I think you got an. Uh, oh, this is a sign. Okay. Take this time to regen. Watch out for this knight. All right, you're full HP. We're, we're chilling now. We're chilling. Yeah, we don't need dark now, though. Yeah, you need light. Good aim down sights. Needs to give this dude. Oh, why did it give it to me? Great positioning. Nice. 
And just loop around. All good. All good. Just need one more. Nice. Love the instincts there. Getting the safety first. Before going for the dunk. Love that. All right, for this one, let's make sure we got all Scions dead before we start damage phase. Because the Knights despawn, the Scions don't. At least I'm pretty sure they don't. Yeah, I think they've been there when we've been. All right, one more light. Nice, nice. Sneak in the reload there. Oh, fat finger that, that's all right. Whatever. That's all right, we're, we're, we're not gonna need it. Yeah. Oh, what? Easy, easy. We're okay. I don't think you were close enough to it. I just trolled. Sorry, we getting we getting a little antsy. It's close to the end. I get it. Oh. Let's not cut don't those get corners. Nervous. Yep. Let's do a reload. Reload. Oh, that works too. Make sure we're grabbing those moats. You only have one right now. Good. We're at four. Oh. Got it. Nice. Okay. Safety. We're getting a safety. Not there. Not there. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. We're good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Regen. Good. All we want. Regen. Let's jump up high. Okay. There we go. That should oh. be it. That's it. Okay. Let's. Uh, we can wait for the knights the... to disappear. Yeah. That's fine. All right. Let's go to town. Let's go, oh, baby. Almost threw it away for what? Some clout? No meme. The end? The end, I feel like, is where the most amount of mistakes can happen because you know you're so close yeah, and you're trying to, like, right. maybe cut some corners to just get done a little bit quicker. You just got to keep... You got to pretend you basically just started the whole time. Yeah. That was it really was good, like, dude. It was almost like uh, when I did my only up speedrun. It's like, okay, I'm really far, but just pretend like this is normal. Like, right, exactly. Yeah, that was really good, dude. That was really, really good. You had really good instincts. Your ammo usage was really solid. Using that fusion on uh, on the knights. Um, good defensive instincts. You kind of found those safe territories really, really quickly. Um, you know, a oh, couple God, of close please. calls. Please, please. A couple close calls. You know, we got saved by Devourer uh, one or two times. Um... But, uh, considering... That's kind of the thing. Like, I don't know when Devourer goes off and, like, makes me invis. That's kind of the thing. It's always kind of like, hey, mm -hmm. you can chain Devourer now. It's well, like, when you come out of invis, right? Or something no. like that? No. So, you proc Devourer by picking up either an Orb of Power or a, uh, a Void... What are they called? Not a, it's not called a Siphon. Void Breach. Um, and you create Void Breaches in a certain way. I forget the exact way that you make them. Um, but you can create orbs of power very easily depending on like whatever mods you have in your helmet. I think you probably have a siphon mod in your helmet. Um, and so the easiest way to get devour is to just pick up an orb of power. Yeah. So that's something to be cognizant of while you're just in the middle of combat, knowing that like, oh, pick up an orb of power. I'm about to die, find an orb of power. Like, yeah. Be all right. Um, okay. especially if you have like recuperation as a, uh, as a boot mod, which I don't remember if you do or not. But either way, when you have Devour active, if you get a kill, you go back to full HP. And so just recognizing that, like, you know, wa watching your timers and watching your buff timers, just glancing over every so often yeah. is very, very important to I making sure you, you maintain. Back, if you go back and, like, really break down me, like, I bet you can see me so many times me just pressing V like this, just mm -hmm. in hopes of that it's off cooldown. Yeah. So being able to like quickly glance around the screen and just like, or even just keep it in your peripheral um, to see like when your cooldowns are coming up uh, and just keeping tabs on your timers, your buff timers, um, all those things are gonna allow you to make better decisions in the moment when you know what buffs you have active to you. Like when you know you have Devour, you're low HP. Oh, there's a Scion right there. I can, I know I can just 180 it, shoot it, and I'll be back to full HP versus like 
potentially continuing to run away because you think you're low and you could have made a play that would have saved you, but instead you chose to do something else. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I exceeded the expectations here. Yeah, you're you're doing really well, dude. You're doing really, really well. Um, if you want to cut it there, we can cut it there. Um, if you want to keep going, we can keep going. Totally up to you. Uh, we could probably cut it there. I'm going to have dinner here with Sydney quite soon, okay. I think. Um, and I have to end the stream with some marbles. Okay. Uh, then I would say your homework would be go get yeah, the lament. But I mean, okay, you, you've proven you proven that you don't even need the lament. But it's still a good weapon to have, like in case you know you you do any destiny stuff in the future. You never know what's gonna be good. Okay, I'm just um, gonna put this in the DMs with you. Okay. One, get lament. Is there anything else that you get think lament? Is um, I'm trying to think of like uh, what else what else we could possibly get you. I think that's probably the number one. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't like, have to be like getting things. You'd be like object, like getting like the supremacy. Like I know, like the there's like a new supremacy that's really good. Like, mm -hmm. uh, um, that's so, like if there's any guns you think that I should get that like if I'm gonna be doing GM solo whatevers like oh wish ender, like wish ender. Okay, wish that ender. was also that was also at the kiosk. Yeah, definitely get wish ender. Okay, wish ender. Um. I don't, I don't think you have a Leviathan's Breath, but that would be a good one, too. And then also Xenophage. Xenophage. Oh, these are all exotics, are they These not? are all exotics, yeah. Okay. Xenophage is a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a longer quest. Um, okay. But yeah, those would be the four exotics, I would say, to go get. Um, okay. And then maybe, I don't know, we'll probably come back to Prophecy. I definitely want to see you get a solo Prophecy. And okay. then we'll move on to, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll kick it into higher gear and I'll try and throw you into Duality or something. Okay. Um, but, well, I can uh, we'll, definitely have uh, all these exotics and probably done by, probably by tomorrow, honestly. I just, it shouldn't take too long, probably like two or three hour stream. So I could be ready by like Friday, Saturday. Okay. Or whatever. Whatever works yeah, we'll, for you. We'll see how far you get, and, uh, you know, we'll see what my uh, schedule's looking like, and we'll yep. take it from there. I think probably next time we'll do Prophecy, and then I want to do some uh, some champion-based content. Okay. I want to see how I you fight against that, champions. I'm, I'm pretty bad at it, I think. Yeah. The, the dungeons are really good for, like, handling intense combat situations, but... They don't get champions really involved, and champions are such a like big part of the end game. And knowing how to fight yeah. them really well is, it's it's going to make your life so much easier. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, dude. I hope you got the content that I hope some content that you can cut this into or something, um, and have fun with it because I'm having fun. Yeah, no, I'm 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 glad you're having fun. I'm glad you're like a little more motivated. I feel like it's it's a bit more fun to play the game when you're actually motivated to go do something and or like you have some kind is. of a goal. Like, I have that's the and that's kind of the reason. It's like give me some homework so it'll give me a reason to go and like feel like I'm actually have a reason to play Destiny rather than like, well, I guess I'll do a bounty today. Yeah, yeah. No, having having an objective 100% makes the game so much more enjoyable. Totally. Well, GG's, gamer. I will, All right, GG's, uh, dude. I'll catch you later. I'm about to end my stream. All right, love you, bud. Thanks for everything, dude. Take it easy. I got to say, Rob, uh, Rob really impressed. I was, I was expecting... I was expecting Rob to, to struggle considerably more. Um, I knew, I, like, I know Rob's, Rob's a gamer. I know he's a, he's a gamer. I just didn't know how much of that was going to translate to, like, a solo dungeon experience. Um. You know, I feel like, you know, you, when you see, like, Rob and Blue and, and Fruit and kind of, like, their meme videos, and you kind of see the struggle... 
you might think a little differently. But Rob did really, really well. He's got really good instincts. But I also didn't want to just, like, throw him into the deep end. I, I did want to start a little bit easier just to kind of see where he was at and then build up versus, like, throwing you off a cliff and being like, fly, bitch. Um, so he did really good. And I think once we get a couple more exotics on him, he'll be able to kind of handle some, some other stuff. And then I definitely... I think champion content is where um, I can do a lot more like educational stuff because again with some of these older dungeons like the sandbox has just launched us so far forward in terms of like combat difficulty you can just outclass a lot of older things because they're so old and because we've gotten so many upgrades um so i wanted to see how much of a factor that was going to be as well and it is a factor. Um, so yeah, Prophecy. I want to see how he does on, on Final Boss. Um, but man, Hunter just has like so many. I'd, I'd be interested to see Rob in a much more aggressive build as well. Because he's, he's got a lot of defensive capabilities. But when he has to get a little more offensive, I'd be interested to see how that goes. Um, we didn't really, like, go over his mods or his build or anything like that. So, I don't even know what he was using. But he did really well. He did really well. Yeah, I want to set him up with an Arc Hunter build. Because I feel like he's basically only used that Void build since we set him up with the Void build. And, uh, getting him on a different build, I think, would, would make the game a little more fun for him as well. So, um... So I appreciate... Uh, yeah, he could also use a vault cleaning. Yeah. Um, I saw someone in chat be like, I can't believe he deleted a 66 stat roll. And I was like... I, I basically told him like months ago. I was like, you have the perfect gear. I know you're not going to go in and tweak it or do anything. Just delete. Delete, delete, delete everything. Do I have any tips for solo dungeons? All of the solo dungeon tips that I have uh, are in the individual videos that I've made for soloing dungeons. Everything I could possibly say is in those videos. Yeah, he could he could use a vault cleaning. I feel like he just he just holds everything. He just holds every single item no matter what. <laughs> And then it gets to like 600. And then he's, he just deletes whatever comes in and deletes nothing else. So. Um, yeah, he did really, really well. Did really, really well. And, uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see how these more difficult dungeons go. I thought Prophecy itself was also going to be a bit scarier. For him, but I mean, he picked it up so quick. He's got, I mean, he's got really good instincts, and instincts are tough to teach. You know, like that instinct to be like, I'm low HP, let me get to cover, or like even recognizing what's good cover versus what's not good cover. Um, that's very, very difficult to teach. That's just kind of something that I feel comes with experience and just kind of having that general game knowledge. Uh, that just comes with experience. So, like with Danielle, for example, like, Rob has better instincts than Danielle because Rob has been playing video games for way longer than Danielle has. And Rob also plays competitive shooters. So he's got a good eye for for that kind of play style. Whereas with Danielle, she, ha she doesn't have those instincts fully developed yet. So I had to be like, go to the cover and she would be like where is the cover and i was like it's here it's here these are the cover spots like she couldn't exactly recognize like where the good cover spots were without me telling her whereas rob just kind of picked it up um and that's just because of of his experience playing games um he's got he's got those intangibles you know um so, yeah, very, very much underestimated uh, Rob's ability. 
because you know I feel I, he 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 rips on the game, he jokes on the game, he but he pops on every so often, but you know he's got enough raw like shooter skill to kind of carry him through a good chunk of stuff, and I mean he could he could definitely do a solo flawless shattered throne. I mean what he wiped once on the final boss and then like died to a jump. So he could totally get a, a solo flawless there. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know how much like people really picked up in terms of like tips for for coaching or anything, just because he was flying through it. Um, but you know, it's an intro intro kind of lesson. We're seeing where his skill level's at, and his skill level is is considerably higher than uh, than I thought. So. He's uh he's he's killing it. And then prophecy he handled super super well. Yeah. So interested to see how he handles something like uh duality or ghosts. So even though ghosts is probably the hardest solo dungeon, you find it be more enjoyable than duality cuz there's less bugs and stuff. I found that each time I wiped I learned something that I could fix for my next run. Um I haven't really encountered that many bugs in duality, at least to the extent that I feel like other people have. Um, but that being said, I mean, ghosts is just such a long, it's such a long dungeon. Like duality is also pretty long, but man is ghosts long. It is so how would you refresh Shattered Throne and and Pit of Heresy for current sandbox? They need to buff boss HP by at least triple and throw one or two more spawns in each encounter. Um, yeah. Uh, it's just things need to be more of a threat, really. Like, we're fighting combat 2.0 enemies in a combat 6.0 world. Um, but, like, also those... Yeah, like, those encounters were designed for the combat levels that we were at back then. So you would need a way to just completely jack up the difficulty of those activities. You need to bring them into a 6.0 world, essentially. And off the top of my head, yeah, you definitely got to add more spawns. You got to make things be a little more lethal as well. Um, But even then, like... You look at something like Ghost of the Deep and a Solar Titan. I mean, Solar Titan just makes a mockery of so much of this stuff because of their because of their healing capabilities. It's just that stuff is a little more lethal there. So if you do mess up, you're actually going to be punished. Whereas in some of these older dungeons, if you mess up, you're not really punished as much. No. Any tips for post Ekthar pre Simuma? I'm struggling solo. Like getting to the boss, like the like the in between. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, Rolk, I, I will let you know when I do some gameplay reviews. I don't really bring viewers on uh, live for, for coaching stuff. Imagine dynamic AI enemies in something like GMs where they don't spawn the same area and identify and act on threats. Yeah, I, w I, w I wouldn't mind seeing uh, content that's a bit more randomized like that. Like, there's there's definitely merits to content that is very static. It's so you can build familiarity and things are a bit more consistent. Because having that consistency in gameplay is what allows people to learn. Um, But then, yeah, for, for, for people who kind of play at the top level already where you want things to be more unexpected I, I would love for something like that to to exist 
Strand Titan for solo flawless ghosts. Uh, it wouldn't be my first choice. You would you would have to if if you're just going for your first clear ever, Solar Titan. One of the uh, one of the pulls for GMs is learning the spawns and triggers, making it random, makes it much more luck dependent. Yeah, definitely. That's why the consistency is very good. Like you want players to be able to learn, versus being able or like versus to, uh, you know going in, and uh, just not knowing what to expect every single time. There's there's certainly people who do enjoy that, but for the overall player base, that can't be the norm. That has to be like a specialty thing. So I wouldn't mind more like mixed mixed or random spawns or something like that. So Solar Titan's way is still not easy. No, it's definitely not easy if you don't have like those those rhythms and that experience kind of built in. Like I know I say like, oh Solar Titan, it's so easy, just hop on Solar Titan. But if you don't know how to play a Solar Titan in the way that you need to play one, you're still going to struggle until you learn how to fight as a Solar Titan. That's why I always, like, get, you know, really amped when, like, like, like I was excited when Bungie was like, hey, we're bringing, like, Battlegrounds and Defiant Battlegrounds to, to GMs and stuff. Because it had been, like months since we got any sort of like a new GM experience. Like when Lightblade came out, it's like, oh, it like feels like new content. And uh the same with like the battlegrounds, like, oh, how are they gonna you know, how are they gonna do this as a GM experience? And learning a new thing is is fun. It's fun to learn a new thing. Or even like the reworked the reworked strikes. It's like, how are they going to be different? What do we have to learn now? And just like not knowing what to expect. Even if it is like, you know, arms dealer, like, uh, we just restructured the strike a little bit. It's still a little something to be like, oh, how, what did they change? How is it different? Um, so. Sound a little congested in today's video. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. I recorded that at 7 in the morning. I woke up at 6.45 in the morning. So that was my I'm not completely awake yet voice. Yeah, I get right to work in the morning. So. Because I knew, like, I had to record the audio. And then I had to go gather some more clips. And then I had to put the whole thing together. I had to get it peer-reviewed. Then I make the thumbnail. And then I had like a bunch of other things I needed to do in the morning. So I needed to get that video done ASAP because like, I needed to clean the kitchen. I got to walk brim and I got to try and export this other thing. And then I got a stream. So I had to, I had to do it a little bit earlier than, uh, than I usually do. Um, speaking of walking brim, I am going to go feed the brim and grab a package from outside. So I'll be right back. Two minutes. Let me thank subs real quick first, and then I will go do that. Give me one moment. We got Chucky and we got H Calix uh, with, with some brand new subs. Thank you very much, both of you. Prime subbing. Uh, two months from Carmel Lavender. Two months. Thanks for re-upping the sub. We got Dark Sith. Five months. We got Secluded Moth with 8. Neon Light with 10. All of you uh, under a year subs there. New subs. Thank you guys very, very much. Bullwinkle with 51. And Nikolaus with 26. Thank you both very much for those resubs. Thank you, everybody, for your for your patience uh, during during the sub readouts, during the uh, the Rob gameplay. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what, what, uh, what Rob can handle because he's much better at the game than I feel like he is led himself on to think like to you know his viewers maybe you know because I, I feel like if you only watch fruit robin blue play destiny together and that's it you might feel like you know like ah oh, like not that but no he, he knows his stuff he knows his stuff you know part of it is like you got to be joking around a little bit you got to create a little bit of tension in a video right um 
but no, Rob knows his stuff. He's got good instincts. Interested to see, you know, I, at first I was very skeptical. I was like, okay, solo GM. Okay, Rob. And now I'm like, that son of a bitch can handle it. I think he can do it. But he's got to get really familiar with champion-based content first. And just, like, fighting champions in general. Once he learns that, then... I don't know. I think I think we set him up with... Like, if, if he wanted to do it this season, like, this is a good season to do it because we have Devil's Lair and we have Disgraced. Arguably some of the easiest GMs that we have in the game. I think Rob could handle a Devil's Lair, personally. I think he can do Devil's Lair. So, we'll see. But, uh, again, uh, I'm going to go feed Brim. Give me, like, two, three minutes. And uh, we'll come back and, I don't know, we'll do something. Uh, Pat, 86 months. How's my penis? It's fine. It's there, you know, and that's cool. Thank you for 86 months. Big, big resub. Thank you very, very much. Chat, I'll be back in a few minutes. And by a few, I mean like hopefully two to three. Let's pay the mods. Brim? You wanna get dinner? Be ya. You wanna get some din dins? Some brim brims? Come on, buddy. Hello. This was the package. It's Mons for the card opening stream. Wonderful day, Guardian. Okay. Now for the Yu-Gi-Oh! packs. The Yu-Gi-Oh! packs will be purchased later in the year because that stuff goes on fire sale every year. So I'm getting that stuff while it's cheap. Magos Reductor with the 44 months. Thank you very much, Magos. Welcome back. Um, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> what do we... What do we do? I don't really have anything to do. We might go to Mario. I don't know. I'm just so out of practice with Mario. I also went nine hours today. Or uh, yesterday. I've had a long couple of days. Oh, what the bait? Um, what I've left for Witch Queen title? I have... I guess I should probably work on that, but... Um, I have to craft weapons, and then I need trophies. But the trophies that I need are like... Um... Yeah, I need the fundament shell. And the fundament shell comes from... Uh... Not that. It comes from this. I mean, my secret triumphs in the throne world. I'm at 300 out of 350. And I have... I have um, this. I have the refined quali qualicer. I have the refined one. You used to bring the nearly forgotten memory of a great treasure into the presence. Or into the present. I don't know what to do with this thing. I haven't looked it up. I also don't know if it's a quest that I need to pick up or what. 
The Lucent Inquisitors. So those are like those randomly spawning uh, dudes, right? Yeah. It's Ludwig. Huge Destiny guy. Brim? Someone want to see what my vault looks like? It's, uh, you know, it's not pristine. It's not pristine. I still have a lot of this extra armor that I just haven't deleted. There you go. Just all this stuff that I farmed from uh, pre-Lightfall that I just haven't gotten rid of. Like, this can go. Get rid of a couple pieces here. I masterwork these thinking like, oh, maybe. This was like mobility cope. Like, maybe they make mobility good. Some of these I upgraded like preemptively just to not waste materials. Thinking that like, oh, I would definitely use these. Like, haven't used these yet. Look at the roll on these. Still haven't used them in any sort. Of, they haven't found their way into any sort of build. It's crazy. This was intellect cope. No intellect there. I don't know why these are here. So yeah, I have a, I have a bunch of armor to still delete. Like, none of these have made it into builds. Although, to be fair, I think most of my hunter builds have had chest pieces. So. Yeah, mobility and intellect cope. We'll do a little bit of Throne World stuff. And then I'll do a couple Mario runs. You just got to keep in mind, it's been forever since I've done Mario. So I'm going to be a little sketch on that. I need to do some practice. And then we'll call it there. I'm not going to go. Uh, I'm not doing another nine hours today. <laughs> Your boy is quite tired. What are we doing for Friday stream? That is a great question. Probably not going to be on Destiny. I'll tell you that much. Beans? Look at the level two on the throne world. Yeah, we might do more Mario. Mario into Final Fantasy or something. Final Fantasy 16. Any interest jumping back into Apex? Not really, personally. I'm still very much in my uh, in my rut when it comes to gaming in general. Haven't had anything that I really wanted to uh, to really participate in. So if I remember correctly, the dudes spawn here. Almost like random deep sight thing. This is the pathway one, right? Where you gotta like, yeah, dude, investigate the corpse and then it like leads this way. Yeah, I just, I know that they spawn specifically right there. I'll leave this alone, whatever. Am I still gonna open up the Lord of the Rings magic packs now that the one ring was found? Yeah, I'm still gonna open it. They still got other stuff that they can open. Uh, no, I don't do any coaching off stream. A lot of the coaching stuff that I do is people send me recorded footage. And then I take a, take a look at it on stream. 
Um, I don't, it's very rare that I do any sort of live coaching. And if I do, it's going to be with people that I already know. I think I just have to sit here and, and wait, right? Just wait for these jabronis to spawn in. Nothing I can do to speed this up. Do I have any Pokemon 151 pre-ordered or going to bank on price drops? So I have uh, a UPC pre-ordered. So we're going to crack that open. English. I would like to get one Japanese box to open, but yeah, I am hoping for the prices to come down on the Japanese boxes. Uh, because they are just ridiculous right now. If they don't come down and, you know, we have to get one for the stream, then all right, I'll pay the ridiculous price for one. Uh, but I'm hoping that in the next four months, they, uh, you know, they print a few more boxes. <laughs> You know? But English, I mean, like, those UPCs, I, I'm, I'm already seeing them at, like, less than 120 bucks. I got mine for, like, 108. So they are going to print the ever-loving crap out of those things in English. They do not want another, like celebrations they're gonna print it probably like the charizard box they are going to print so much just like they did the charizard box in english japanese that's a whole different story yes rolk so you just just record record some stuff upload it to youtube and then the next time that I do a stream or something, if you're here, you can just let me know that you've done some sort of recording and uh, and you can send me the YouTube link. I can't do that. Well, you are going to have to. That's the way that I review people's footage. <laughs> Check the canal area. It's more favorite to that. I feel like there's usually like a global, global message that pops up for the whole area. Wow, I don't want to do that. They rotate daily. Uh, all right. Well, we just gotta wait for this message to pop up. Will I do it for anyone? Uh, I've I've been making calls for uh, for certain bits of content that I'm looking for. Uh, the thing that I'm really looking for at the moment, although I haven't really put out a big call to action recently, has been group content like uh, GMs, uh, even raids. Um, because the last time I did a coaching video was uh, someone trying to do a Lost Sector, I believe. And I don't want to just, like, repeat the same kind of stuff. Um, and I just didn't want... I didn't want it to get old too quick. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, if something turns out really good, then cool. I'll upload it to YouTube. Um, but if it... You know, if I if I feel like I'm just kind of repeating myself, or uh, you know, there wasn't really much to to really learn from the experience, then it's not going to go up. So, like today's stuff with Rob was uh, was cool, but there wasn't a whole lot to really use as teaching material because like Rob was just killing it. Um, 
and having a YouTube video where all I'd say is like, you're doing so good. Like that's not really educational. <laughs> and I do want it to be pretty educational at the end of the day. Although I do feel like most people could just watch the how do I kill champions video and uh, pretty much get like 90% of what they need to know about higher level content <laughs> just from that. Teaching us that Rob is a natural born high level gamer. Alright, fine, I'll just help him kill it. Yeah, the champion the, the, the champion tutorial video I think was like probably one of the most important pieces of content that I will ever make. And it should have been something that I made a long time ago, but I think with the update to like how to how we can kill champions. Uh, it was it was a good time to like make something like that. Like if it, if I was gonna make it, it was then or it was never. So I'm glad that I did, and I think that in combination with the uh, the first coaching video that I made, you watch those two videos, and I feel like so many so many issues that people have would be solved. Again, number one issue that I think a lot of players have is just inefficient use of their ammo and not knowing how to fight against champions. And if you... If you know how to fix those two problems specifically, you, like, you're, you'll improve dramatically. Dramatically at the game. So... Champ video saved me from double primary. Yeah, that's that's another thing too is like seeing so many people do double primary just because they need the champion mods and it's like you gotta take advantage of the tools that the game is giving you. And like once you do that, like you're you just it just opens up so many so many possibilities. It's crazy. Uh, Vipers with 16 months. Thank you very, very much. I'm not Bo with the eight months. Cut that in half. Eight months. Welcome back. We got Soapy Monster with four months. Cut that in half. And we got Freezing in June. Gifting us up. Thanks very much. Wonderful day, Guardian. And I lost my shoes with the 37 months. Nice. Thank you very much, over three years. Yeah, Rolk, that's, that's uh, literally not some information that you should be saying on Twitch right now. In fact, you are not even yeah, you're you're literally breaking the rules of of Twitch right now. I had a feeling that that person was was pretty young. I was not envisioning that young. I was also guessing with the uh, with the XX, we were probably dealing with someone pretty young. Yeah. Yeah, the stream is rated for mature audiences only. Yeah, you you you're not allowed to have a have an account like that. All right, where I feel like 
I don't even try sometimes to have these dudes spawn in and they're just here. And now I can't guys get these guys to spawn for nothing. Do they only spawn in one specific area per day? Because I feel like that's not a thing. I feel like they would spawn everywhere. Have them in canal and fish area the same day. Some miasma. It's a per day thing. They spawn anywhere. I know I've I've like fought them in every area. I just don't know if they spawn only in a certain area per day. They only spawn once per hour. Really? Is there a timer somewhere? How is Destiny? Is it pretty fun? It's pretty fun. What class is most fun and strong? It's Titan. Turn 32 tomorrow. Happy birthday. Any advice or suggestions for a brand new player D2, even Destiny in general for that matter? I'm insanely overwhelmed with how much stuff there is and what direction to go, what to do. So, what did, what did you purchase, Chevy? What have you bought? Because what you have purchased will determine what I tell you to go do. You bought everything. Damn. Okay. Mr. Moneybags over here. Um, here's what I would tell you to do then. I will tell you to play all of the campaigns first. You're going to play the Shadow Keep campaign. You're going to play the Beyond Light campaign. You're going to play the Witch Queen campaign. You're going to play the Lightfall campaign. I think that is the best thing that you can do. What I would also do is maybe get a little uh, little YouTube lore video uh, to play alongside with you while you're doing those campaigns. Obviously, yeah, do the New Light experience, like the introduction, blah, 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 get into the world. Um, and then maybe get a little, uh, little YouTube action, kind of find out what's going on with the story. Then you're going to play the Shadow Keep campaign. Then you're going to play the Beyond Light campaign. Then play the Witch Queen campaign. And then you play the Lightfall campaign. Enjoy yourself. Just have a good time. Playing the campaigns. Enjoy the story stuff. All that kind of stuff. Don't worry about the best guns and the best builds and the best armor and do 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 do. Don't worry about that crap. Play the game, play the campaigns, catch up on the story, have a good time. So you're only gonna get to play the game for the first time, one time. So do all the campaigns. Then when you're done with the campaigns, that's when you can start like, all right, how do I get the better gear? How do I start leveling up? Then you can kind of look for those videos on YouTube or you can just ask again later. Uh, you can ask down the road, like, hey, I did all the campaigns. What do I do now? Um, generally speaking, people just kind of tell you to level up. You level up so you can get better guns, so you can level up so you can get better guns. Same kind of deal as, you know, other, any other game of its kind. Why do you level up? To get better guns. Why do you get better guns? So you can level up. Da, 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 da. That's how it goes. Um... Amongst other things that there are to do in the game. But for now, do the campaigns, Shadow Keep, Beyond Light, Witch Queen, Lightfall. Yeah, we can take the I'll take the pinned message down. That's fine. You start with a sparrow when new light. Uh you We'll eventually get one. I think it's part of the tutorial.
They don't really, uh, they don't really keep that a secret from you. Cruising each section waiting for the high value target message. Well, high value target, I think, is different from the message that I'm looking for or the enemies that I'm looking for. Shoot me again. Am I good at math? I used to be really good at math. Nowadays, eh, probably not as much. Young Tubbs, five months. And Cedrus with 19, coming up on two years. Thank you very, very much. See, high value target. We're not looking for high value target. Do I still remember the pi numbers? Yeah. 3.14159265358979323843383 Still remember Wonderful day, Guardian. Okay, that's all I remember. source i made it up check my math you will find that i've cor correctly pronounced uh correctly remembered all the digits in that order Part of me wants to get all the fishing triumphs. And part of me also realizes how many fish I would need to catch in order to get all the fishing triumphs. And part of me also realizes that the fishing triumphs are worth zero. But also, it's going to bug the F out of me knowing that like anytime I hover over Season of the Deep anything for the triumphs, I'm going to be missing like 50 of them. I'm missing so many. I, I feel like I, I haven't even gotten one. No, the only ones that I have gotten are like catch all the unique fish. And that's it. I want it. Let's check on. Oh, I had another package. Another package delivered. I'm going to check on Danielle real quick. See if she answers her phone. Hello? Uh, hello? Hi, buddy. You're on stream. Hi, um, what's your, what's your status? I'll be home in 20 minutes. Okay, cool, buddy. Bye, buddy. Okay, I love you, buddy. No, no, why? Oh, I just wanted to know, because I love you and I miss you. Oh, okay. I love you and I miss you, too. Thanks. <laughs> okay, i see you soon, buddy. Okay, love you, bye. Bye. Okay, she'll be home soon. Um, let me go grab the package downstairs. We feel like don't have any sort of porch pirate porch pirate issues at all in our neighborhood, but I always get so paranoid anyway. It's like, what if this is the one time? So yell at me if that effing message pops up. I'll be right back.
I know it didn't pop up. I know it didn't. Don't even. Trying to gain levels. One dude, GM, haven't been able to. Is there a way to, good way to get light level without having to swap characters? The only companions in the dude, struggling to get higher light stuff. Well, I should mention I suck at PvP in this game. Uh, so sucking in PvP in this game is not an issue for leveling. Um, what's your level right now? And where are you trying to get to? Well, yeah, you're trying to get to GM, so... What's your level right now? Because I will say that playing multiple characters does help you level. You're 1610. Did you mean 1810 or are you really 1610? Eighteen ten. Okay. I was like, "There's no way. <laughs> There's no way." Uh, okay. Eighteen ten is uh, so that's with artifact levels uh, and gear levels, right? Like that's both combined. You're like eighteen hundred gear plus blah 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 bonus. Okay. Um. So you just need to keep doing pinnacles. Unfortunately, that's the fastest way, is you just gotta keep doing pinnacles, which generally speaking, are more group content oriented. So you do need to like, you know, running the new dungeon. That's a good idea. If you can find a raid group to do Root of Nightmares, that's also a really good idea. Um, otherwise, you just need to make sure you're doing as many pinnacles as you can, which I know they did remove some in favor of exotic engrams which is a little bit annoying um but yeah you just need to find any sort of pinnacle reward source and do it as much as possible what also will help uh is doing seasonal challenges and just getting artifact levels instead of gear levels um it's a little bit slower, but it's consistent. Doing those seasonal challenges to just get you more artifact levels. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, doing dungeons, doing raids, those are the best ways to get mass pinnacles. In the game. You just need to do higher level content. Otherwise, you need to farm tons of XP through bounties, through seasonal challenges, um, whatever you can do. That is just the law of the land. Think they'll increase our power next season, or is it going to stay the same? That is a good question. I was actually working on a video talking about the um, the level experience this season. Um, like, was it a success to have no leveling this season? Or at least if you were already at the pinnacle cap. Or rather, not increasing the pinnacle cap. That's really what it is. Not... No more leveling, just they didn't increase the cap. Um, was that a success or not? And I think most people will absolutely say yes, it was. But it did dramatically cut down on like my playtime and, and a lot of people's playtime because you just didn't need to you didn't need to play that much extra because you were already at max level. But if if the the thing that you reduce is something you didn't really like anyway, like I don't think many people truly value or enjoy the leveling experience. Like, is that that big of a deal that you didn't play as much if what you were going to play wasn't something that was really going to excite you? Um, to answer your actual question, I think it's a toss-up. I think it depends on 
if Bungie was like pretty set in stone of like, we're gonna try this for one season and see how it goes, or if they're gonna respond to like feedback that's like, hey, we like that you didn't have to level, um, you should keep doing that. And I think other things supplementing that, like, um, you know, uh, like having uh, set difficulty levels for certain activities uh, really helps. You know, because I know a long time ago when I did my like leveling, like we hate leveling video, level infinity video, a big part of that video was like, you can't just rip out leveling and replace it with nothing. That's just not smart. And I do feel like there's a little bit of a vibe that that's exactly what Bungie did. They just took out leveling for a season and didn't really replace it with anything. But I do feel like they sort of replaced it a little bit with guardian ranks and they helped the situation by having capped level activities um you know your your masters are 20 your gms are 25 your legends are 15 uh seasonal contents five or like whatever it is um so they didn't just like completely upend it and like that was the end of it um there were things that helped it along the way um but i do think most people enjoyed the fact that they did not increase the cap this season and i would say here, here's what i would want to know from all of you was there anyone who did not like the fact that they did not have to level is anyone upset by that? Or are people like most, I feel like most people are okay. The only thing that I miss about it, no meme, is the fact that like, I didn't get to play with my friends as much. Cause usually beginning of the season, first two, three weeks, like we're all back in raids and we're doing pinnacles together and we're hopping in discord and to do and I didn't get that this season, and it, I don't know, it made me a little sad. Like, I wasn't raiding with the buds. And, like, to me, my leveling experience is not, like, this super awful thing that I feel like it is for a lot of other people because I have a good network of friends to play with. So, for me, like, it doesn't really feel that bad. It's just, like... I just get to play with my buds again. Whereas for other people, it's, you know, it's a much greater struggle. And I, you know, that I totally understand. Also do this as a job, but I, but also like, even if I wasn't doing this for a job, if I still have a good group of friends to play with, it's going to make the leveling experience not as terrible because I'm going to enjoy playing with my friends by proxy. And therefore the leveling experience is not bad because I'm having fun with my friends, but that's not like really a direct, like, I don't know. That's not like I enjoyed leveling, not because I enjoy leveling, but because I play with my friends. Like that's not exactly like a one-to-one. -one. I wasn't upset, but to level a character in the season, there are a lot less pinnacle opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, because of the whole exotic engram situation. I don't know why they didn't make those pinnacles. They, they shouldn't have reduced how many pinnacles there were. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not big on that. Didn't miss leveling, did miss the ritual of doing raids and dungeons and everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Blackstar. That's what I miss. It's like I miss logging on, who's on, you know, who's hopping in the raid, who wants to do what. I miss that. I thought I would use the free time from not grinding power to grind other things, just ended up not playing as much. Same. 
Absolutely same. Yeah. And like reality, what I think happened was like, it was like two, three weeks uh, leveling. And then like, uh, you know, this chunk of time would be spent doing whatever I do after I level. And instead of like this block turning into something else, it was just like we took this block and we just threw it out. And we took this section and we shoved it down. GM is scout and bow simulator. If you're not good at GMs, I guess it is. No, exotic bows are really good. But also, like, exotic bows are fun. Like, who's not having fun using Tikus? Who doesn't like Tikus? Tikus is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Trinity Ghoul. Try to frown while using a Trinity Ghoul. It's like... Sid got it. Conditional finale, best designed gun in the franchise, yay or name. I don't know if I would go with best designed, mainly because I don't I don't really feel like I truly know what like a well designed weapon is versus like a, a fun weapon, but I'll give you it's one of the most fun weapons. Because it's really strong. That's why. If it had the same functionality but wasn't dealing as much damage, would it be as fun to use? Mm, I don't know. 69% don't miss leveling. And I'm guessing the other percentage maybe miss what came with leveling, not necessarily leveling itself. Loco, why do you think the game is worse off without leveling? Genuine question. Purple. Leveling exists as both a roadmap for new players to access content and set goals. No power has led to the gaming. To the gaming feeling a very a la carte where everything is available and nothing feels like it progresses other stuff. Fair. Yeah, I think that was probably copy paste from earlier. I just missed it. Nice. Yeah, I used leveling as a mechanism to, to hang out with my friends. Um, but, you know, a, a lot of people use leveling as their, their number one guide to feel, like, done with a thing. You know, I totally, I totally get that. I think level removal was maybe more a thing for, you know, no, well, I mean, number one, to kind of test the waters. Hang on one sec. Hi, buddy. Garage. Okay, buddy. I'll be right there. Okay, thanks, buddy. I'm going to open the garage for Danielle. I'll be right back. One sec. Um, but the no leveling thing felt more of like a test for the active audience, not necessarily new or inexperienced players.
よいよ。They're here? Bullshit. Really? In the one minute window? F me. Oh my god, they are. Wait, you're just a... You're not an Inquisitor. You're just some guy. Losing Hive Inquisitors in your area? I think I made that joke last time. But it's been long enough that people don't remember, so it's funny. I've always struggled with the Inquisitors in this area because I've just never been able like to find all of them. Like this is usually the furthest I get and I don't find the last batch, which is so weird because it's not really that big of an area. Hello. All right, probably uh, grab that. Okay. So now there's supposed to be like a secret chest. I don't remember ever having to do a deep sight thing, so this must be it. Is it just this one? This just feels like a random chest. Oh, maybe it's not. Okay. Executioner's Horde. I guess that was it. I was like, oh, it can't be that one. That's too obvious. <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Here, here, here. Boom. 325. Okay, that sounded like something just broke downstairs. One moment. Hey, buddy. She's okay. Um, 25. Can I do anything for 25 points? Do I still have the... No, I don't. Okay. So that consumed it. Okay. 
What can I do for 25 points? Unfortunately, that's triumph score. It's not the points I need. Oh, man. Yeah, the deep sight chests. Are these just everywhere? Let me pick up the rest of my fish. Am I going to play Remnant 2 when it comes out? I didn't play Remnant 1. I didn't know what Remnant even was. So, uh, I'd say it's unlikely. Um, but I could take a look at it, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I even had someone who I haven't spoken to in quite a while be like, hey, if you want to play Remnant 2, let me know. I was like, all right. I haven't even heard of it, but okay. Um, okay, work. I need to find some of these random uh, deep sight chests here. Any, any good location? I see there's some one up there. Whoop. Haven't played the first one? Dude, I didn't even know the first one existed. I didn't even know it existed. If Master Raids granted... Hang on, your message is going to fall off the screen. If Master Raids granted power increase is similar to what Crota's has ended, but that power gain can only be used to access harder tier content for cosmetic loot, would you grind Master Raids? God, that is such a long question, and I'm trying to analyze all the things that you said in it. I get I get this one every so often. I never know what this one is. Can y'all stop shooting for a sec? the glaive really i don't remember this for the glaives wonderful day guardian hmm. oh okay um i would love for for there to be more incentives to level or uh, do master raid content Memory of Outburst. I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, he was plopping in your office. Where the, where's your son? Um, but I think, like, Master Raids, like... I don't know. This... Answered it pretty well in your Master Raid video. Yeah, like... I think a lot of people, a lot of people are not liking Solstice this season or this year. Um, number one, because it was like pretty unchanged from last year, but like I don't, I would never thought they were gonna do massive sweeping changes to it. But I think also a lot of people are realizing that they're at the cap of the game in terms of like what they can go grind for, like, and they're just maxed out. And I think there are some people that are just really sad that they're maxed out and don't have any new things to go chase down. That's not the only part of it, obviously. Not the only part of it. But I do think it's a small part of it. There's another deep side. And like people, it's it's like the problem that Diablo players are having is like they ran out of things to do and they're mad that they ran out of things to do. 
Okay, I have a minute and a half for this, so I don't know. I don't know what to look for. Um, and I think more and more of the population is starting to hit that point where they're just, like, maxed out. And... Oh, you're chomping, buddy. You're just chomping. Um, more, more and more people are maxed out now. And they're kind of realizing... What the... They're kind of realizing, like, what that actually means. Oh, your foot. I was like, what the hell? Um, just a disconnect with live service gaming. Games are designed to keep you playing, but do actually have a natural endpoint that's difficult to see. Yeah, definitely. I mean, again, that's what, that's what some Diablo players are going through right now. It's like they hit the end and they're mad that they hit the end because they really like the thing that they're doing. And again, that's not the whole problem. But I think with within Destiny, like people are like, Solstice is worthless if you already have good armor. And it's like, I mean, yeah, it's the, a lot of these events are, are catch up mechanics. And ways for, for people who are under geared to get some gear. Sorry, I'm not really paying attention to this this little uh, puzzle here because I'm talking. I'm just guessing if the deep sight timer goes away, I'm not in the right spot. Hmm. Okay, it's in here. It's in this... It's in this area. What am I doing? I just keep running in circles. Oh. Is that it? No. Oh, something else. trying to keep all these on at the same time but I don't think that's oh nope that was it okay how much did I get for that nothing cool oh I got this What fries would I delete? Hang on, let me see. Also gotta thank some subs here. Um, what would I delete? Oh, steak fries, 100%. What? Yeah, I don't like those thick fries. I don't like the thick fries. Sorry. I don't want to eat I, when I when I eat French fries. I want to eat French fries. I don't want to eat chunks of potato. Cut steak fries in half and then fry that. That's a French fry. I love potatoes. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Mashed potatoes, top five food, probably for me. But when I want to eat French fries, I want to eat. I want to. I want French fries. I don't want a potato. I want French fries. This is going down for real in this area. What the hell is going on? I'm not prepared for this. Yeah, but I don't want mashed potatoes on a stick. If I want, if I'm having mashed potatoes, it's because I want to have mashed potatoes and have like garlic or you like put cheese on them or something like that. When I'm having French fries, I want French fries. I don't want potato. I want French fry. Okay, big difference. 
big difference. Sorry, someone wants uh, me to look at their build. Hang on one sec. I got the new rocket. Lots of people don't like it. It has built-in reconstruction. And my role is Pugilist Swash with Strand Titan and Monte Carlo. It works so insane. What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, Pugilist Swash is like a neat combo. And if it's working for you, then cool. Um, for me, you know, I'm, I, I know people really like Monte Carlo to like build around melee based stuff. I just, I'm not the biggest Monte Carlo enjoyer. I know some other people are, but also I feel like there's probably something else that you can get Pugilist Swash on as like a primary weapon. If you really wanted to replace that sort of effect. But again, if you're having a good time with it, then who am I to say anything about it? You know, technically works. You think Destiny would benefit from another Sunset Wave to help with the content drop? It would get a lot of people to play the game again. I, I, I don't think it would. I think it would just make more people mad at this point. Even though, like, we've hit a point where we have so many guns that only one or two of them every season, if that can really be good. I mean, we've had seasons in the past, like season 15. Name a season 15 gun. Friction fire, that's 12. Yeah, Carmelo Anthony, exactly. The meme name for Chrysura Mello. Can't even remember the real name of it. Exactly. So, like, there have been plenty of seasons that have, like, trash guns in the past and we weren't even as strong as we were back then <laughs> but i still think another wave of sun setting would just piss a lot of people off yeah last season's guns were i mean people got excited about regnant for like half a second because they thought gls might have been good and then they weren't <laughs> i mean they're fine but like not good enough and we have this much competition you gotta be you gotta be up there. Let's thank some subs real quick. Um, Kiwi with the 56 months. Again, happy birthday tomorrow. I hope it's a good birthday. Uh, Anonymous with a gifted sub. Thanks, Anonymous. Anonymous gifting sub to Chat I Farted. Solid name. Um, am I gonna make a video for returning players when the next expansion comes out? In terms of... What? I'm not going to lie. Uh, new player content is going to be the last thing on my mind when Final Shape rolls around. <laughs> Full myth eight months. Thank you very much. We got G, Crisscross, and Schmitty, both 13 months each. We got Lil Buckets with uh, 15. Am I teasing new merch with this shirt? No, because this is not new merch. This is... This is old merch. This is from like the first, the first drop. Here's a drip check. Bug. Hi, buddies. Is it bedtime now? No, it's not bedtime yet. But it could be. It could be if you want to do. Uh, dirty potholes was taken. Why did you want to name yourself Dirty Potholes? Uh, and Shadow Strider with uh, all, both of you brand new subs. Thank you very, very much. For the brand new subs. Uh, we got Saffy Bird with the 77 months of subbing. Uh, Random Wins with the 69. Morbtron with the 63. Thank you both for the 60s there. We got 29 from Lone Bays. 34 from Simultaneous B. And Phantasm with 47 months of subbing 47 months is, i know it's a it's a while 
Almost like them releasing mid-tier reskinned gun after mid-tier reskinned gun is a stupid way to do things. Here's the thing. Not every single gun that they ever make is going to be a top-tier gun. And I don't want anyone to tell me. I don't want a single person to tell me. That if they... Let's say they brought back spare rations. But they didn't call it spare rations. They called it something else. And... Uh, it had a different gun model, but it had the exact same stat block as spare rations and it was as good or bad as spare rations currently is, which right now is not that great. You're not going to use it, right? You're not going to use it. If the stat blocks aren't good, you won't use it. So it doesn't matter. Right? Right? Things are going to be mid to you because you probably have so many effing guns already. Deep Sea Proctologist, you've been in the stream a very long time. So you've probably played Destiny a very long time. Yeah, he's a schnoozer. Which means you probably have a lot of good stuff already. Which means it just it's that much harder for you to find something that's even better than the stuff you have because Bungie can't continuously power creep themselves that much to make people like you and me excited to get a bajillion new guns every single season. Right? T tonight you give me a massage. Okay, buddy. my FOV just so many <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that was even too much for that joke you gave me too much credit for that yeah something's wrong with you <laughs> I ironically do not give a dang about any primary drops Period these days I've been running double special for so okay well that that's a different that's a different problem that's not a, a reskinned gun that's like a game game design issue problem thing is working a certain that's that's different Wonderful. that's a bit different sorry I'm just looking for these uh timed did I get credit did, did we get something for that one I'm trying to like keep up with the secrets here. Do we get some? No, I only got two. I'm still at two out of five. I didn't get credit for that one. You suck. How have I only done? There's no way I've only done two of these. Wonderful right? There's no way. There's no way I've only done two. Why am I not getting credit? Time. Yeah, that was a time deep sight. I hit the deep sight. There was a timer. I found the chest before the timer ran out. That should be one. How is that not one? Didn't farm funnel web. I didn't have to farm funnel web. The god roll was just gifted to me. It was gifted. Tomorrow we get to work with knives and clubs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you going to come home and be like, come on, stab me? <laughs> Maybe. We learned a, like a 25, 26 step fight today. And then we performed it on camera. Okay, that's three. This is leading up. That's four. Should be five. I don't see the last one.
Half of you are probably like, blind. Literally blind. F. Do you see it? Wonderful day, Guardian. Got you. Give me that. Ugh. Okay, there's another one. That's got that one gotta count. If that one doesn't count, the stream ends. Please don't count. It counted. Sorry. Is Brim schnoozing? Yeah, he's schnoozing. He's a little flopper. Brim got to lay out in the sun for a couple of hours, mm. and he was very good doggy. How was his walk? It was good. He, he started to slow down after about 15, 20 minutes, and, yeah. I, and he started panting, and I was like, I got to get him inside. I didn't, we didn't go for too long. That's good. But it was enough. And then he ate food, and then he was like... <laughs> How many shoes do I have? Uh, At least four. I mean, I hate that you use that number, but yeah. Why? <laughs> I mean, it is at least four, yeah. Um, yeah. No, it's like 30 to 35 pairs. No, I don't wear shoes in the house. Ew, who wears shoes in the house? Looking like a fool with your shoes in the house. Barbarian. Why so many? Because I like to collect them. Uh... Oh, this has got to be like a... Like a deep sight effing thing. Really? Nothing? Do I cycle through them? I have pairs that I cycle through. The ones on the shelf behind me are are for display only. Come on, there's another deep side thing. Normal day. Normal day. How's Jazz? He's good. I assume. I just talked to him last night. True. He's good. He helped me with the sponsored video. Who oh, did I? Yeah, well, we were asking about Jez Daniel, okay? Yeah. Not everything is about you. I made a bigger sacrifice. And I paid the price. Because when I got up from that desk, my body was like, you've made a huge mistake. <laughs> you've stayed in one place for too long. We've seized. Is this... The deep side activation for this stuff down here. No, it's not. What is it for? Who is it for? Oh, it's for this. Yeah. Yeah, I've already done that. Figure D2 destination. It's probably still Dreaming City. There's got to be more of these of, uh, of of these deep side things, dude. They want you to do like 25 of them. I can't find a single effing one. What kind of cringe is this? There's like five in this area. There's like five in your area. Yeah, I said it. Hot single loose and brood in your area. 
<laughs> I kept saying, kept thinking like deep sight in your area. <laughs> I feel like there's one around here that I see all the time when I'm driving past it. And now it's not here. In my fight today, we were supposed to come up for like a reason for the fight. So my here we go. My partner and I decided we were sisters and we were fighting over something. And uh, and I was the bad sister, and I killed our mother. So she was attacking me. Jesus. And uh, we're supposed to go to dark places. Like stunt people don't play like nice people. They pay, play the bad guys. And the our instructor is uh, like a 39 year old white guy with a shaved head, and he's like. I cannot tell you how many f Nazi uh, tattoos I've had on my thing. It's horrible. I hate it. But I do the part, and then I wash it off quickly afterwards. Yeah. So we were supposed to, like, kind of get dark. But at one point, I was supposed to be choking her, and then I headbutt her. But when I was choking her, they are like, you can say a line there. You can, you know, do some acting. And so I was like... I said something different every time that we practice, just to kind of make it funny. And mm -hmm. then when we were actually being filmed, I thought uh, what came out was, I've always hated you. You should have been, and then I almost said, all I could think of was, you should have been aborted. And I was like, is that too dark? So then I couldn't think of anything else. And then I forgot, to, I almost forgot to headbutt her. So I'm just sitting here choking her for a long time. Like, you should have. That was <laughs> You should have hit him with a, you should have killed me. <laughs> Give me the. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what to do. I'm going to throw it at that. All right. Wasn't that. No, it was that. Okay. I was too close. Not going to lie. Wasn't envisioning uh, getting killed by the explosion of that. But here we, <laughs> here we are. I should have said something like, you should have been smothered in the cradle or something like that. But nope, my brain's like, abortion. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes with smush morphin. You could have been like, you should have got an abortion. <laughs> Deep sight. Deep. Big five head, two months. Get the f up here. And Scarab, also two months. You should have joined Mom in the Great, yeah. Fuck. I know. All these things, so great afterwards. But I'm on camera and I freeze up, and all I think is, I'm bored. And then finally I was like, oh, f I have to headbutt you. If you could bring any D1 exotic into D2, which would it be? Oh. You said the secret message of the day! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Zen Meteor. D's nuts. <laughs> You were on board with anything. You're like, yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like most people in here would have understood. Mm -hmm. Oh, that hit my tickle button. All right, don't say that. That's what somebody else said. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Don't say that. What? I'm not allowed. Speaking of tickle buttons, there it is. <laughs> um. Okay, I don't know where this little statue thing just went, but... Looking for deep sight in all the room. You get it. Um, Joy. Is it Joey or Joy? I feel like I've asked you this last time, and then you told me, and then I was like, cool, I'll definitely remember, and then I didn't. You know, like a liar. Um, just remind me. Just freshen my memory. Thank you very much for 11 months of subbing. 
Thank you very, very much. Two people with back-to-back -back 1,000 bits. We also had someone earlier. Someone, like, started the stream with, like, 1,000 bits. No alerts. They should be on. Are they not? Yeah, they're on. They should be on. Do they not pop up? Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's not like a, there wasn't like an audio alert for some reason. Yeah, that was it. And we had, uh, there's Yo RJ. Yeah, that's working. That's okay. God, where are these deep sites, man? Gamer Boy and Cyax, both with both with a thousand bits. One says, love the gameplay, keep it up. I don't know what you're loving about this particular gameplay of walking around uh, the throne world, but I appreciate it. And Cyax with a thousand bits. Says, I hate how funny you are, stop making me laugh. <laughs> that is generous. That is generous in more ways than one. Why am I doing deep size? Because I'm trying to get this stupid fundament shell so I can be done with the Witch Queen title. Or at least the annoying thing of the Witch Queen title. No, the follow the chair. That one I already know of. That, that one I've done like four times already. This one I've also done. So I don't know why I'm getting it again. What? Penis. That's fair. Oh my god, dude. I'm afraid that if I leave here, I will go sit on the couch and then I will fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And that's bad. Yeah, so you should stay here. Okay, but then I'm gonna need you to go get me some ibuprofen. What? You just told me to stay here. Danielle, I've been getting... Where? Do, what do you do with it? I give it I to you it like... I me every day. Yeah, so then keep it in your pocket. No, I keep it in my stump bag. With my pads. 50k from Dre. How do I get the Ascendant Primeval in Gambit? I need it for my Malfeasance quest. Please help, bro. I don't know, dude. Gambit. I don't even know what Gambit is. You just made that up, didn't you? You made that up. It's not even real. You're just making stuff up. It's not even real. It's not even real. What are you even talking about? What are you even talking about? It's a fashion redemption? Oh, okay, hang on. And a stretch redemption. All right, you go stretch. You... I'll do the fashion, you go stretch. Ow, ouchie. <laughs> Steve, you hear? You hear, Steve? Steve Shea? Just before I do this, oh, make sure you're actually here. <laughs> Steve's here. Drink water. <sighs> Why does she have to stay awake? Well, if she goes to bed now, she's going to get up at like 2 or 3 in the morning. That's well, not really great. Like bed, bed. All right, Steve, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. My name is Steve. All right. Let's pop you out here. Watch. And let's go, yo. This is a big screenshot. Oh, no. It's because I'm zoomed in. Never mind. Okay. What do we got? What? So what were we going for here? Because I do like the, uh, the color scheme. I do like the color scheme. It's well-balanced. 
I've personally never been a huge fan of like the fuzzy hood unless you got some other fuzzy stuff going on. So I'd want to see a little more fuzzy just to match that vibe. Um, but I do like the uh, the Guild Memento it looks really, really menacing here. Well, what were you going for a vibe in general or are you just like, I'm just trying to make something that looks clean? What's the vibe? Recolor of a set I put together a while back. Um, I think a you're, you're definitely proportional. Um, and, you know, the color is not too bad, but it's, you know, it's not... I'm not being, like... I'm not being grabbed by it, you know? There's nothing... There's nothing here that's, like, telling me, like, wow, this is crazy. Like, day, it's well-balanced. I appreciate that you tried to go for, like, some, some different colors here. Um, I'm, not, I'm not, not blown away or anything like that. You know? It's, it is some level of constructed, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a little plain for me, personally. Um, you know? Not too much of a theme going on, it seems like. It's just like some some uh some good armor pieces kinda of put together. Yeah, it's it's a safe it's a safe thing. It doesn't nothing's nothing's really like blowing me away from this. I'd wanna workshop it a little bit more. You know, get some like let's let's go a little crazier with like the gold. Like the gold on this thing like looks really cool. I'd wanna do something more with that, something like that. Um Yeah, I just wanna Let's go. Let's let's experiment a little bit more. You know. I want to see some. I want to see some more zhuzh. That was a piece I originally built around. I think we can do more. I think we can do more. I think I think there's definitely room for workshop. In uh, in that set. Yeah, like if you're gonna build around that, I want to find other like spiky pieces of armor. That have these like glowing gold, uh, you know, bits and pieces here and there, and uh, and really go from that. Like the mask is really cool, but I think we like the cloak doesn't really fit that vibe at all. Um, I'd want to find more things that uh, that kind of match up with with the chest piece. What are these things? What is the memory of blank? What did these actually do? Oh. Oh, that was zoomed the whole time, wasn't it? Sorry, hang on. Let me fix that right now. That was from when we were doing stuff with Rob. Could you guys see the fashion? Could you see the fashion okay? Okay. I was like, I will do that over if you couldn't see what the hell I was doing. Yeah, sorry, that was zoomed in from uh, when we were gaming with Rob. Hey! Bro, where are the deep sights, man? Are there deep sights in, in zones other than like Quagmire, Canal, Miasma? Like, if I go down... If I go down there, am I going to find that good good? We have six yeses and a I don't think so. Been saying it for ages. All right, I'm cringe then. Let's go down here. Let's see what we got. He's just changing it. Uh, let me finish thanking subs here. Got interrupted because I was blown away by the back-to-back -back 1,000 bits. Look, bits are very rare here. So, thank you both very much for the... Uh, For the bits there. That was, that was very, uh, very, very 
generous of both of you to do that. Uh, we got Scarab two months. Finished Solstice way too quick, so I'm sat here like a lemon now. Uh, yeah, I mean Solstice wasn't that wasn't that bad to complete. It, it did not take a very long time, which I'm a okay with. A okay with that. Um, Baku, 73. Look forward to the day when Daniel kicks your door and smashes a bottle on your head as stunts, of course. Well, I mean, the bottles are like, that's props. Like, that's the props department. They gotta make special bottles, like breakaway. Breakaway bottles. Those are special. That's not really, uh, I mean, it's sort of stunts, but like, the prop itself, that's, that's the props. Props team. I came from that way. Okay, don't go down there. Oh, gotta be something in here, right? Nope, this is the way you go from the uh, from the thing. Brother, where? Where are the deep sites? Where are they? Tell me. Where is the deep site? It's not like they're they're hiding them around corners. It's not like they're they're tiny. They're really easy to spot. Yeah, I did nothing with like with the secrets of of the Witch Queen. I did nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Uh, Nitro 42 and Blackzard 39 and Toa 44 and RJ 38. All of you kind of close together there. It's my favorite type of cheese. I do like me... I don't know. Do you know the name of that cheese that, that I always tell you? Hey, what's that cheese that I really like? that I never remember, that I'm not sure if you have ever known what it is. I don't think so, but I feel like you like just like a really sharp cheddar. Yeah. With some stank on it, some sharp. Yeah, real sharp. Cut you. Cut your dick off. That's what he likes. Yeah, I like to cut my dick off. <laughs> I mean sharp cheddar. I mean, your boobs are huge. There's no deep sight. There's no deep sight. I'm, I'm about, I'm about to act up. I'm about to act up and load up somebody's random YouTube video. Are there some down here? That kind of looks like a deep side, but it also just looks like a light. I think, but that deep side's just to like traverse. It's not a deep side puzzle. It's, you have to plan things to traverse it. Why don't you traverse D's? Oh, it didn't land me on the thing. I like glided off. How many qu kills on the Quicksilver? I think I'm around 9,000 now. It's over 9,000. Oh, you're still laughing at that. What's the name of what's what's the name of this this achievement? This triumph. 
Disbelieve. Destiny 2 Disbelieve Triumph. That's the way to farm it. The only chests I count are tier 3 chests in the Quagmire, Miasma, and Canal. Canal. The chests inside the safe areas don't count. It's hard to know which deep sites are tier 3, but it's basically the following. Shoot the lamps and the all, all, light them all up. Yup, 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 yup. I know these. Okay, I've done those. I didn't because it, <laughs> I love this. So how did you finish the disbelief triumph? I didn't. Why are you talking? Why? Why comment? Why make? Why even say anything? What is wrong with people? <laughs> you guys are just, you guys are, you guys are out of control. Deep sea proctologist, three months. And Orestes, four months. Thank you both for the returning subs. I'm just going, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna shut down. <laughs> I'm just literally going in circles. <laughs> I'm just going in circles, man. Diddles with the 28. NorCal with the 93. I think you're like the second 93 month sub today. Thank you very much, NorCal. Who else was 93? Someone else was 93. Like very recently. I can't find it. 68. Can I not do... No, I can't do find. I just need one more. Here's the thing, though. If I do one more and I get one click of that triumph, it's probably only going to give me five points, isn't it? It's not even going to give me enough. The deep sites you need for this triumph are not unique. You just need to do the same ones over and over. So you just, li you literally just like loop around like it's effing Neo Muna looking for gold beacons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just rip off my own wiener. So like this one is just, this is just nothing. So there's only like four of them. There is literally only four of them. Oh. So like we have this one and it's like, it's not active. So then we gotta go look for the other one and hope that that one's active. Yeah, I, I'm done. I will go until I find one more and then I'm done. And that'll be, I think that'll be all the destiny that I do for the week. Yeah, I never had to do any, that's probably why I don't know any of this. So I never had to do any sort of of funnel web farming. I, I was gifted one. I was bestowed one. I don't think this is one. No, it's just a stupid statue thing. Yeah, it was in here. I think I probably just need to like leave the destination. That's probably what I need to do. Reset. Let's just reset. Let's see if we get one on a reset.
Shoot the lamps and light them all up. This is the one you spawn in next to Quagmire. Shoot the brazers until they're lit. Yeah, we did that. Shoot the runes. We've done that one. Throw the ball. Yeah, we've done all four of these, but they just spawn in random locations. Yeah, I've just never, I've never done, I've never done these. You gotta go lay down, buddy. They spawn the same locations, but they're not always active and appear randomly. Yo, uh, Felix? That is very, very nice of you to say. Rare, rare blue quality Sparrow shirt. There's not many of those. I think I only saw like 400 of those. That's some OG status right there. Yeah. That was very, very nice of you. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know, like, any of this, like, rep farming stuff. Like, I didn't, I didn't do any sort of, like, cheese rep farm or anything like that. And... Stadia Funnel Web Farm. I was there when Triple did what feels like one of his last streams and he did the, the Funnel Web Farm. I don't think it was on Stadia, but it was it was a show. It was a show if you were there. Notorious King Carmine 22. Sorry, 28. Can't wait to see a GCX. Notorious King Carmine, if you don't introduce yourself as Notorious King Carmine and you come say hello to me and we take a picture and then I come back and we boot up the stream and you type in chat, hey, it was nice to see you at GCX, you're banned. Because now I know you're showing up. I know you're showing up. For how long? Forever. The amount of times, the amount of times that people have met me at shows and conventions who introduce themselves as just like their regular name or they don't even tell me their name at all. And then I come back and they're like, hey, it was nice to meet you at blah, blah, blah. And they don't tell me their name. It's like, oh, oh, you're a 95 month sub. You, you didn't think to bring that up? Not a single time? Not once. You're not, you're, not, you're not gonna bring that up at all. It happens so often. If you chat, if you ever, if you ever, ever say hello to me at a convention, maybe you just find me at the airport randomly, I don't care where. And you are an active chatter and I would recognize your name from chat. Say your goddamn Twitch name. So I can actually appreciate who you are. Okay?
<laughs> What's wrong? It's five. What can give me five points? What can give me five points? Does anything give five points? Kill an executioner. You gotta be kidding me. I mean, I'm not doing the rest now. Do I, if I can, I do follow the trail. Can I do this? Am I gonna get five points from this? If I've already done it? Yes. Don't you lie to me. I'm gonna do it. You better not be lying to me. Oh, this is another another one of those things, okay. Wait, does that is this No it doesn't. God damn. No, I've done this one like a million times. And by a million, I mean like probably four, but it's still a lot. So I don't think I'm gonna, if you haven't done it today, okay. If I haven't done it today, let's see. God, imagine, imagine it gives me five points. And I can be free. And then the only thing that I'll need to do for any remaining titles is to just kill random stuff with Season of the Deep weapons. And then I will have, I will finally actually have every title. Which I realize at this point is not the craziest accomplishment because I'm far behind. But for me, it's a big deal. Eh. McZoo's 48 months, four years of subbing. Thank you very much for the four year. Again, a lot of 47s and 48s. Recently. Let me go in there. All right, let's just. All right. I feel like if I were subbed for 90 some months and met you, I'd introduce my name, but I feel awkward talking about having been subbed for that long because I wouldn't want to think I felt entitled to the conversation. Please don't feel that way. First of all, if you meet me at convention and I say that I'm going to convention, I'm most of, like most of the reason that I'm going is to say hello to people. But also, if you are if you were legitimately a 90 month sub or like, you know, super long-term sub, I would want to have a, a longer conversation because I actually recognize the name. I am approachable. I promise. I am approachable. If you see me at a show, at a convention, somewhere random, as long as you're being chill, I'm approachable. 99.9% .9 of places, I am approachable. Please do not live in fear of not being able to say not being able to say hello or something like that.
Oh my god. 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 Buddy. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna go make these weapons right now. F it, dude. What, right now? You said you Wonderful were gonna be done. I just have to craft these guns. I just go to the crafting area and I craft. You said you were gonna be done. I just craft my thing b-hole. You said you were gonna do one more and then you were gonna be done. Snoozing. No, Mario. We're doing Mario on Friday. We're going several hours Mario on Friday. I think I just didn't want to, like, log on, do, like, one practice run and be like, all right, I'm going to go. Can I just craft the same gun over and over? Weapon inventory full. I'm getting yes, I'm getting no. Okay, I I go lay down. Okay, buddy. But I kind of fell asleep, but you don't you Yeah, no, I craft these things and I'm done. It has to be each one. How do I know which one I've made? Ugh. Let's see. Which queen? I thought you were trying to type which gun. <laughs> <laughs> type which. I was like, whoa, buddy. I don't know why I have this. Why do I have this? Um... Okay, like season, season, what was season 16? Oh, what was season 16? I can't remember. Risen, really? Okay. Are those guns going to show up? Yes, they will. Phil Teradiddle. Let's make sure that counted. Yes. Which means I can get rid of the fell Terra Diddle that's been in my inventory. Why? Oh, Archer's Temple success. Whatever. I don't care. I don't even know why that was in there in the first place. Okay, what's next? Okay, I've done Likely Suspect. I've done Red Herring and Tarnation. Does Amit AR2 count? Come to Pass. I don't think I've done Come to Pass. Mainly because Sweet Sorrow existed. Which is literally right there. Weapon inventory full. Ugh. Come to pass. I don't think I've done this one. Center barrel. LA mag. Compulsive. Dragonfly. Okay. Let's double check that that counted. Nope. That didn't count. I already had a come to pass, apparently. Eh. 
Ngram dot blue. I'm, I'm not logging into another thing. That's fine. I'll just keep looking for him. It's okay. It's okay. Um, nothing here. Insidious. Peace of mind. No. Syncopation? I feel like that's a... That feels more like a world drop. Pointed inquiry. I unlocked the pattern. I don't know if I crafted a pointed inquiry. Ugh. Father's Sins. I don't think I've made one of those. Seven out of nine. Yeah, let's grab Father's... Father Sins. Don't think I've made one of these. I might be... Oh, I was going to say I might be the first person ever to, but you need it for the title, so probably not. Seems unlikely. All right, one more. Yeah, I do have the rocket. I have likely suspect. I have the rocket. Maybe empirical. Have I done? I, I maybe haven't done empirical evidence. Apparently, I have done empirical evidence. Wow, really? All right, tarnation. I've definitely done tarnation. I have that in my vault. I I usually keep a weapon that I craft, like, somewhere in my vault. So that is just blowing my mind right now. Forensic Nightmare. Well, it's not in my vault. Let's try Forensic Nightmare. No, I, I did. I have likely suspect. I have the GL. I have those. There it is. One and a half years later, Gumshoe. The next time we play Destiny, I will be getting this, and then I will have all active titles. Yay! And with that, we're done. We're done for today. Uh, tomorrow, I need to work on a sponsored video. So I will be doing that most of tomorrow. If I can maybe cheat cheat in a little sneaky stream, uh, I will try. No guarantees. Friday will be variety. We will be doing Mario on Friday. If I don't do Mario the entire time, we will go to Final Fantasy 16. I do need to literally remember how to play that game. Um, but Mario will be on Friday. There will be no Destiny on Friday unless something happens where I need to be online, which I can't imagine will happen. Thank you all for chilling today. Grenadier with the 16, Killed Ward with the 17. Thank you both very much for the teenage subs right before we go. Thank you all for chilling today. Uh, if you didn't watch the, 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 the video that I did, hang on, the, the Graviton Lance video, let's see how it's doing. Oh, actually doing pretty well. That's nice. That's a nice change of pace. 
Um, go watch the Graviton Lance video. It has all my thoughts on Graviton Lance. In case you care. And, uh, and that'll be it. That'll be it for today. I'm going to find you guys a host and we're, we're getting out of here. Do 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 Raid all time Brianna Trust. I am unaware of them, but PG, I trust you. All right, we've never hosted them before, so why not? Watched it. Very good video. Thanks. Um, I'll see you guys later. Wait. Okay, I haven't hit it yet. What what's going on? What should I know? What should I know? I haven't hit it yet. Cuz I just saw oh no and then let's go. Okay. I was like what's about to happen? Let's go. Um thank you all very much again for hanging out today. Um I'll see you guys probably on Friday. Very unlikely tomorrow. Very unlikely tomorrow. I need to do sponsor stuff. And then I also, I literally, as soon as I'm done with my sponsored video, I am not doing any other work other than working on merch. Merch is my next priority after I get the sponsored video up. So hopefully more updates to come. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. I'll see you guys for some variety on Friday. Have a great night.